prefer not to do that again. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Freestone, Limestone, and Navarro County in Texas. I broke it. I broke it. Yeah, the program I used to stream crashed while I was dealing with the dogs. My content manager is going to be very unhappy about that. Now I have to go set up all these videos again, which is quite unfortunate. Well, we'll deal with it. Okay, so we do have severe thunderstorms underway. We've got a severe storm near Mahea, moving northeast now towards Fairfield. That could have quarter-sized hail, damaging winds, showing a bit of low-level rotation. We're going to have to watch that carefully. We've got a severe storm now over Interstate 30, just east of the President George Bush Turnpike, over Lake Ray Hubbard, over the bridge, over the lake, moving north towards Rowlett and Rockwall. Storm currently capable of producing ping-pong ball-sized hail, winds to 60 miles an hour. Moving up towards Rockwall, uh, Saxe, Wiley, Lavon, Coopville, St. Paul, Lucas, eventually Princeton, Farmersville. Cluster of severe storms. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Fisher and Jones County in Texas. A cluster of storms from Aspermont to Royston, Rotan, moving east towards Hamlin, Rural, Stamford, Tuxedo. That storm could have golf ball sized hail, winds of 70 miles an hour. Uh, watching a storm southwest of Ruby that may move along Highway 180 for a while towards Anson eventually. And I'm having to fix this stuff because I broke it. Oops. I technically didn't break it. The computer broke it while I was outside dealing with ganks. Which makes me super happy, said no one ever. I have to go update thumbnails and do all that nonsense again. is unfortunate. Again, we have no tornado warnings. We have a few severe storms capable of producing a uh, quarter to golf ball size hail, the potential for damaging straight line winds, heavy, heavy rainfall with a flooding threat in East Texas, Northeast Texas. Storms from DFW East are moving northeast. The storms across the western northern big country, northwest of Abilene, are moving more east.
Adam Lucio and Chelsea Burnett are on that cluster of severe storms uh, that will be moving from Aspermont and Rotan towards Hamlin, Old Glory, Sagerton, Rural Haskell, Stamford, and Anson. Definitely seeing a pretty impressive wind signature develop with that cluster of storms now as it moves east towards Hamlin. The potential for golf ball size hail winds of 70 miles an hour. That's an ouchies. No tornado warnings. All right, it's 8.20 p.m. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. We're monitoring several thunderstorms now. We've got one near Rockwall to Rowlett, producing quarter to ping pong ball size hail. That's moving northeast pretty quickly. We've got a cluster of severe storms from Aspermont to between Rotan and Hamlin moving east at about, oh, they've got to move an east at 35 miles an hour. That could have golf ball size hail, 70 mile an hour winds. That's northwest of Abilene. That'll eventually I'll say hello to the DFW Metroplex in a few hours. We've got a severe thunderstorm warning now for a thunderstorm. Well, for one, we've got a storm going up pretty quickly now in uh, Mansfield. Uh, Kennedale, that'll be moving north into Arlington. We've got a storm over Cleburne with some strong winds. We have a thunderstorm. Approaching Teague um, Fairfield, showing a pretty decent wind signature and a little bit of low-level rotation, actually. Uh, this is a severe thunderstorm warning for a storm capable of producing quarter-size hail, 60-mile-an-hour winds. We'll keep an eye on this storm. A tornado can't be ruled out, and a tornado warning may be necessary for portions of... Uh, this area. So Fairfield, Teague, heads up. This storm is showing some low-level rotation, the potential for it to get a little more rowdy as it moves north, northeast, or excuse me, northeast at about 45 miles an hour. Hunt County, you've got a storm in Greenville, maybe some small hail with that, um, maybe up to quarters, honestly. That's moving north towards Wolf City. Be up in Wolf City about 9.05 to 9.10 p.m. Whatever it is, I'll deal with it later. We've got storms in East Texas. Heavy rain, small hail, gusty winds, not a big deal with that right now. Uh, back west. Thank you for that report of quarter size hail.
pretty nice line of storms from near Aspermont to Hamlin, moving east at about 35 miles an hour. Could have damaging straight line winds, golf ball size hail. That'll be moving east at about 35 miles an hour. And again, we've got a storm going up in Kennedale, moving up into Arlington, what East Fort Worth. Storm in Cleburne, moving north towards Joshua, Fort Worth. Could have small hail with that. Storm near T could have quarter-sized hail, wind 60 miles an hour. Is showing some indications of low-level rotation. We're going to have to watch that carefully. As that storm moves northeast pretty quickly. For those asking, what about me, what about me, what about me? Uh, if only I could answer those questions. Best advice I can give you, download the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Open it up. It'll tell you your local weather forecast wherever you are or across the country. You can also track storms with the interactive weather radar on our website and in the mobile app. Texas, Texas local storm, storm report from Rowlett in Dallas County, Texas. Hail magnitude measured 1.25 inches. Reported by emergency manager. Okay, so Rowlett, you're getting a half dollar size hail that's moving north towards Wiley, Lavon, Nevada over the next 10 minutes. Quarter to ping pong ball size hail. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Crosby County in Texas. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. So again, this storm in Rowlett, Wiley, it'll be up on 78 in the next five minutes by 8.30. Up on 380 by 8.40 to 8.50, Princeton to Farmersville. From there, it'll be approaching Westminster, 910 to 915, Blue Ridge, 905 Texas to Texas local storm report from two Trenton, miles east of Rowlett in Dallas County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 1.00 inch. Reported by public. Additional information, report from Ping, quarter, one inch. All right, the storm apparently producing quarter size hail in Greenville, moving north, pretty much along 34. It'll be in Wolf City by 9 p.m., uh, Bailey, maybe 910 if it doesn't stay to your east. And then from there, this could be up on Highway 82 between Bonham and Honeygrove around Dodd City by 930 p.m. Other storms in East Texas, we've got small hail, heavy rain, a lot of cloud to ground lightning, but nothing severe, nothing spinning, nothing doing the spinny spinny doom doom. We've got a supercell thunderstorm over Teague. Moving towards Fairfield, this has strong winds, some rotation, heavy rain, maybe quarter size hail. That's moving northeast at about 50 miles an hour. So that could be an issue for uh, Palestine up 287, eventually towards Jacksonville in the next 90 minutes. Otherwise, we note a couple storms starting to go up here in southwestern North Texas around Hamilton to Hico. Nothing severe with that at this point. We'll keep an eye on it. Pretty Strong little complex of thunderstorms now from Aspermont to Hamlin to Roby. It's moving east at about... So I almost said 70 miles an hour. No, uh, about 30 to 40. Notice how this little line is starting to... Well, we're back to the 70s. yippity you, yippity a. Let's not do that. Thank you very much. Notice how we're starting to get a Boeing signature here. That's going to enhance the damaging straight line wind threat. We could start seeing hurricane force wind gusts. A wall of dust with this as it moves towards Stamford, Anson, Haskell. Could also see wind-driven quarter to golf ball size hail. Looks like a new severe storm has fired back towards Rawls. We do have some storms firing back west towards 27 now. Uh, severe storm. They got it about uh, 12 miles northeast of Slane, 4 miles northwest of Caprock, moving northeast to 25. Uh, this could have quarter to half dollar size hail. Winds to 60 as it crosses Highway 207 south of Rawls. Could eventually be near Crosbyton in about 30 minutes. And again this point. No tornado warnings. Just several storms capable of producing quarter to golf ball size hail. Wind 60 to 70 miles an hour. Reported grape size hail in Saxe. Thank you for that report, sir. Slash ma'am.
For 61 likes, you two people, you lie to people and put them in danger. Show the Weather Channel radar. Yeah, okay. Well, bye. And yeah, then we've got this storm over Lavon to Wiley moving north. That could have half dollar size hail. The storm over Greenville, the potential for hail up to the size of quarters moving north. At about 30 miles an hour, Wolf City, 9 o'clock. Dodge City, Honey Grove to Bonham by 9.30 p.m. on Highway 82. And again, there's nothing going on in East Texas in terms of severe weather at this point. We are watching this storm from T to Fairfield. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Fannin and Hunt County in Texas. That's going to be a severe thunderstorm warning for this storm in Greenville, moving up Highway 34 towards Wolf City, or 224, I should say. Maybe. It might be 34. It's 34. I'm a derp. Highway 34 towards Wolf City. Again, this storm could have quarter size hail, localized damaging wind gusts to 60 miles per hour. I'm going to go do some housekeeping on Twitter. Need to pin the new video. Yeah, that's some big hail in Greenville. All right. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Fisher County in Texas. Ben's re er, ben is reporting two-inch hail in Greenville. So yeah, we could have some pretty nasty hail. Closed captions, yeah, we don't have that in-house ability. Uh, if you're watching on Facebook, that should have the real-time ability for closed captions. It's like the one good thing Facebook's good for. Um, surprised YouTube doesn't have a thing of, to caption in real time. A report of tennis ball size hail and Hamlin noted. So we've got a line of storms capable of golf ball to tennis ball size hail. Wind gusts over 70 miles an hour from Aspermont to Hamlin to Ruby. Roby moving east at about 30 Texas miles local an hour. storm report from one miles north of Greenville in Hunt County, Texas. Hail magnitude measured 1.00 inch. Reported by public. Again, we're going to do this at 40 just in case this speeds up. This would have the line of storms moving into Anson, 850. Stamford, 850 to 855. Haskell, 9 p.m. Looters at about 910. And again, that's assuming this is moving at 40. If it's moving a little slower, the times will be back a wee bit. We got rid of the Discord because it was too much for us to handle. We'll have a new solution out. Soon, we're actually going to have one for our moderators later this week, and then we'll be rolling something out again uh, in a supporter type program.
All right, back to Fairfield's cluster of storms capable of producing maybe some quarter size hail, 60 mile an hour winds. Been a little level rotation with this, but fortunately nothing too strong at the moment. That is good. Storms moving east northeast at about 45 miles an hour. And then East Texas, it's pouring, it's storming. There's nothing severe right now. Maybe some gusty winds, small hail. But again, this is going to be a flooding concern around Longview, Kilgore, Henderson, Troop, over to Marshall, Carthage, tonight, Jefferson. Uh, we're going to be looking for some big rain totals and the potential for flooding. All right, back to the Metroplex. Got a severe storm now in southeastern Collin County near Wiley to Nevada. We'll see if they put a new warning on that. It looks like it's weakening pretty decently, the potential for that to produce. Uh, maybe dimed nickel size hail as it moves towards Princeton and Farmersville on 380 over the next 10 minutes. Blue Ridge by 8.55 p.m. Severe storm now about two miles north of Greenville. Moving up Highway 34 will be Wolf City by 8.50 p.m. Dodge City to Highway 82 uh, between Honeygrove and Bonham, both on 56 and 82 by about 9.15 to 9.30 then moving across rural portions of eastern and northern Fannin County. Storm in Arlington, dropping heavy rain, maybe some small hail in Pantego, Arlington. John Bergdorf going to be mad. That's moving due north. That'll be into North Richland Hills, Colleyville, Euless, DFW International Airport, Grapevine. We had someone ask us earlier if there were going to be delays at DFW after 9 p.m. Well, I had to break it to you, but uh, yes. Uh, then we have another storm down in northern Johnson County. That could have some small hail with it, gusty winds, heavy rain. We'll keep watching both these storms in case they intensify as they move north. A couple other scattered showers and storms firing up down farther southwest towards Hico, Hamilton, Pottsville to Gustine, east of Comanche, south of Dublin. All that activity moving north as well. And then the big, bad, very mad little complex of storms that could have golf ball to tennis ball size hail. Winds over 70 miles an hour from near Aspermont to Hamlin to Ruby. Moving east at about 30 to 40 miles an hour. And that'll be in Haskell, Stanford, Anson the next 20 to 30 minutes. This probably is going to make it all the way to the DFW Metroplex in about three to four hours. So heads up. It's going to get rowdy. Storm in Denton County. There are no storms in Denton County. You're going to have storms in Denton County coming up from the south, though, sooner rather than later. With gusty winds, small hail, heavy rain. If they intensify, we'll see what's going on. Oh, yeah, I don't have that on, Jason, if you're listening. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Collin County oh, in dogs, Texas. You don't get to do that. You got to go play outside, and when I went outside, y'all crashed my computers. Your owners are literally going to be here in like five minutes, which means I'm going to have to shut the door because it's going to get loud in here or in the house. So again, no tornado warnings. We have severe thunderstorm warnings. Let me see if the new high-res rapid refresh model is in. I doubt it. But again, we're going to have more storms Texas overnight. local storm report from three miles west of Capitola in Fisher County, Texas. Hail magnitude measured 1.75 inches. Reported by public. Additional information, report from Ping, golf ball, 1.75 inches. These storms north of Abilene are going to continue through at least 11 o'clock, it looks like, with the threat of big hail, strong winds. Can I help you? A non-zero tornado threat. Dogs? Hi, are you freaking out? What are we doing? Why? why? Your owner is literally going to be here in like five minutes. We're not doing this again. Whiny little things. This storm moving towards Tyler. Give it about an hour. So again, that's what we got going on right now. Let's do a look at model data overnight. I'm going to clear off everything. We're going to take a look.
go, TikTok. Merry Christmas. They put a new warning out. Looks like they did. But again, let's take a look at model data. We're going to take a zoomed out look. And then we're going to take about a seven minute break. Stream's not going anywhere unless it crashes again. But take a look at this through, let's just do 7 a.m. Again, yeah, it's going to storm tonight and in tomorrow morning. All right, we'll be right back again. We'll be back at about, the stream's not going anywhere, but we'll be to music for about seven minutes. No tornado warnings. We got some hail, and so you can see we're going to have more storms overnight. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Haskell and Jones County in Texas.
My apologies. I deal with the dogs. A uh, storm in West Arlington moving in North Richland Hills is showing signs of intensification. Could start having some nickel-sized hail with that shortly. If it continues to intensify further, the Weather Service may put a severe thunderstorm warning on it for portions of Tarrant and Denton counties. All right. So that's what the radar is going to probably look like at times overnight. Storms galore. Merry Christmas. Let's get back to the real-time radar. All right. Severe storm moving up Highway 34 near Wolf City. The potential for quarter. Size hail. Winds 50 to 60 miles an hour in Wolf City in the next several minutes. It'll be up on Highway 5682 around Honey Grove by 9.20 p.m. Thereafter moving into cross rural portions of northeastern Fannin County. Storm capable of producing nickel to quarter size hail in spots. Now approaching Farmersville, riding 78, 78 up towards Blue Ridge. It'll be in Blue Ridge by about 9 p.m. A storm, it's showing increasing signs of producing hail in Holtzum City, North Richland Hills, and Hearst, moving north towards Colleyville. That'll be crossing over 114 and Trophy Club around 9.05. Argyle about 920. Coral City, that gas station exit on 35W about 920. North Lake over towards, uh, let's just say, South Den, 925 to 930. Ponder, 930. Denton, 930. Crum, 940. Uh, the storm showing increasing indications of producing hail may result in a severe thunderstorm warning being issued shortly. Further west, a complex of severe thunderstorms capable of producing tennis ball size hail, wind gusts over 70 miles an hour with an incredibly impressive dog, really? Oh, dog. Wow. Facebook spam. Good for y'all. Bye bye. All right, line of storms capable of producing 70 plus mile an hour winds, tennis ball size hail from near Aspermont to Rural to Hamlin, moving east at about 45 miles an hour. That'll be in Weinart, Haskell, Stamford to Anson on 277 the next 20 to 30 minutes. Thereafter, moving east towards Albany, Throckmorton. And then it's just going to keep riding east, probably, until it gets to the DFW Metroplex in about three hours. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Denton and Tarrant County in Texas. Okay, we've got two severe storms taking shape now. Uh, we couldn't see the one in Crowley because it's right next to the radar. Hail core with that's increasing, so we'll just assume it's severe. Severe thunderstorm warning for the storm north Richmond Hills, Bedford, Colleyville, moving up towards Den County. We'll see that warning in a minute. Severe thunderstorm probably over Crowley, producing nickel to quarter size hail. That's going to be moving towards downtown Fort Worth over the next several minutes. We'll put a tracker on that. Uh, that'll be in downtown Fort Worth probably in the next 20 minutes or so, moving up 35W towards Towards Saginaw, Holtom City, Watonga, River Oaks thereafter. But again, severe thunderstorm warning number one. That's going to be for Bedford, North Richland Hills, Watonga, Colleyville, Grapevine, Keller, Roanoke, Flower Mound, Double Oak Highland Village, Argyle, Justin, the potential for quarter to half dollar size hail moving north at about 40 miles an hour. Second storm that's going to probably need a warning here in a minute, capable of producing quarter size hail over Crowley. That'll be moving towards east sides of Benbrook, west sides of Everend, up towards west downtown Fort Worth, River Oak, Sansom Park, Saginaw, Haltom City. Uh, probably east Eagle Mountain Lake could eventually be an issue for places like Saginaw up to Hazlitt. We've got a storm over Farmersville that could have some nickel size hail, maybe quarter size hail, moving up towards Blue Ridge. Yeah, I could talk really fast. And then a severe storm currently east of Celeste, moving up towards Wolf City. That'll be in Wolf City in the next 5-10 minutes. Potential for quarter size hail, wind 60 miles an hour. And then as we get up to 82, that'll be about 9.20 p.m. between Donham, Bonham, how about Bonham, not Donham, Bonham, Dodge City, Honey Grove, about 9.20 p.m. The potential for quarter size hail. Nothing else in East Texas is severe right now. We got heavy rain, flooding's going to be a concern tonight. Gusty winds, small hail, there you go. Uh, severe storm down here in portions of Navarro County. It's not Navarro County. It's the county southeast of Navarro. Fairfield, that storm looking much weaker now. Rotation's weakened. It's moving northeast. Uh, eventually, it'll make it to Frankston, uh, southern Smith County. I'm going to close this door behind me while I have a chance to do so.
So again, we have a couple severe thunderstorm warnings now. There are no tornado warnings. I'm not worried about tornadoes right now. Nothing showing strong indication to low-level rotation, so don't worry about that. We are watching thunderstorms approach Stanford, Haskell, Anson. Uh, those could have winds 70 miles an hour with tennis ball size hail. That's an ouchies. And we also have a storm near Crosbyton. That could have a quarter to ping pong ball size hail. So again, like I, we've been saying all evening, things are starting to get a little more active. Okay, we're going to move this. Try to do this without busting the camera. There we go. Okay, we better. Cool. Can you all actually see my face? Yippity, yippity, yippity do. All right. So again, let's see if I missed any notes. Blah, 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 blah. 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 All right. We'll switch back to the regional radar. Turn that off. I just hit the wrong button. Boy, it's a Monday. Yeah, DFW will probably have some sort of weather watch overnight. And you see some lightning off uh, the west cam. I guess I can turn that on. See some lightning showing up. That would be looking at the storm over Bedford, Hearst, North Richland Hills. Multiple reports of pea size hail. Again, we'll just switch over to the uh, statewide view. That's not what I wanted. All right, so this is what we've got going on this evening. Cluster of storms now moving east across the big country, 45 miles an hour. Those storms capable of tennis ball size hail, wind gust over 70 miles an hour. We've got a couple of storms firing up again in West Texas, the northern Permian Basin, the potential for damaging straight line winds locally, maybe some quarter size hail. Storms from, uh, let's just say, Farmersville to Blue Ridge to Wolf City. The Wolf City storm, that has the potential for quarter to ping pong ball size hail moving up toward Gober, Dodge City, Wyndham, Honey Grove the next 20 minutes. As we, well, 20 to 30 minutes, and then after that it'll be moving towards Monkstown and Telephone in northeastern Fannin County. Should stay well west of Paris. Storm over Farmersville, honestly, meh, it's weakening for now it looks like. 
Storm over Fairfield has all but dissolved into a cluster of disorganization. That's not severe anymore. I'm not worried about it. Storms across portions of Henderson, Longview, Marshall, back to Troop. Lightning, thunder galore, but nothing that indicates big hail, big wind, or tornadoes. So that's good news. All that activity moving east-northeast. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Lynn and Terry County in Texas. That's West Texas. Uh, and again, heavy rain flooding threat tonight in Northeast Texas. These storms in the Metroplex trying to ramp up again, but uh, pulsing a lot. One storm now over I-20 and Edge Cliff Village, I-20 near 35W. Second storm over Colleyville, South Lake moving north. You can see lightning off the Colleyville storm with our West Dallas Tower Cam. Adam Lucio, they are in Trent. Uh, they're with this complex of storms out west. You can see that it's moving east. Uh, that's going to be moving towards Throckmorton, Haskell, Anson, Luters, Albany, Breckenridge, Graham over the next 90 to 120 minutes. The potential for tennis ball size hail, damaging straight line winds, 60, 70, 80 miles an hour. A couple storms firing up across west Texas. We'll see more tonight. Those are going to be moving northeast initially with the threat of pocket change size hail. We'll have to watch that storm southwest of Lubbock that's moving northeast towards Lubbock in case it tries to start throwing some hail. All right, folks, asking about exactly where y'all are going to get hit. Best thing I can tell you, open the Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. You can track the storms. You can find out when it's going to storm where you are. We provide that service to you for free. It costs us several hundred dollars a month. Please utilize it. I can't answer questions about every single location on here. And at some point, one day, I might just start being like, you want to know what's going to happen in your location? Okay, super chat us. In terms of when is it going to rain at 8.02 p.m. on the fifth blade of grass in my backyard? We're never going to charge for severe weather coverage, but at the same time, the repetitive, what about this, what about this, what about this, what about this, gets real stinking old. Even though I know it's just folks coming and going real quickly, but I'm tired. I'm grumpy. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Fannin County in Texas. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Jones County in Texas. Yippity, 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 do severe thunderstorm warnings for you. Okay, we got a severe thunderstorm warning. That's going to be for Fannin County, the storm near Wolf City, moving towards Bonham, Dodge City, Honey Grove. Should stay mostly east of Bonham unless it takes a left. The potential for half dollar to ping pong ball size hail. Localized wind gusts, 60 miles an hour, are possible. Storm over Farmersville, it's weakening pretty quickly. We have a new storm going up, though in uh, East Frisco, West McKinney. We'll have to watch that. It could try to produce some hail. We've got a storm. You know what? If we're going to do this, we'll just switch back to the fancy radar. We got a storm again going up West Allen, East Frisco, moving towards McKinney. We got a storm with hail. Uh, Colleyville to Watonga, moving north to Roanoke, Argyle. We'll hit this magical button here. Again, Trophy Club, Argyle, Denton, Crum, Sainer over the next one hour. That's a one-hour storm track. So there you go. Merry Christmas. And we have radar on our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar. Got a storm. I-20, Benbrook over to Forest Hill, moving north towards Westover Hills, Westworth, River Oaks, Fort Worth, Haltom City, Lake Worth, Eagle Mound Lake, Saginaw. Probably some small hail with that, gusty winds. And then we got a mean, bad, very unhappy cluster of severe storms approaching Haskell, Stamford, tennis ball size hail, wind gust over 70 miles an hour. That's just a nasty looking storm, a lot of wind with that. And again, that's moving east now at 45 miles an hour. And that's going to make it all the way to the DFW Metroplex in several hours. A couple storms moving to the northeast now across west Texas with hail. One west of La Mesa on 180. One west of Tahoka on 380. One on 84 near Slayton. One on 82 near Crosbyton. All these storms, and there may be more tonight, moving northeast. Quarter to golf ball size hail. Wind 60 miles an hour. Not a particularly pleasant experience.
And I'm not being snarky towards any individuals in the chat, trust me. All right. Oh, good news is this Fairfield storm that's east of Fairfield now really has fallen apart. Not concerned about that anymore. It's just a blob of heavy rain just like the rest of this stuff in northeast and east Texas. Mineola, Tyler, Kilgore, Marshall up to Jefferson. This is all just a big old rain shield at this point. And Storm Chasers talking about land spouts on Twitter, calling it a... Yeah, no, no, no. All right. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Fisher and Jones County in Texas. Again, storm uh, moving into Keller, intensifying again. Some hail will go back to it. Could have a lot of small hail, maybe some quarter size hail from Watonga now moving into Keller. North of Colleyville, uh, coming up to Trophy Club, west sides of Grapevine generally west of 360. It'll be in Trophy Club, Marshall Creek, Argyle, Corral City, Denton to Crum to Sainer in the next one hour. That storm again moving north quickly at about 30 miles per hour. We got some storms. Again, the severe warning around Fairfield's gone. We got some storms from Stephenville to Comanche to Hamilton. And then we've got a cluster of storms across southeast North Texas, east Texas. It's like a rain shield, honestly. This stuff is not severe. It's got heavy rain that's going to cause flooding, lightning, no tornadoes, no damaging winds, probably not even any hail with that. Back west, a, uh, yeah, that's uh, can't be said for this. The potential for damaging winds over 75 miles an hour. The potential for tennis ball size hail. The potential maybe for a spin-up tornado, honestly, with these storms from near Anson, Stamford, Haskell, moving east about 45 miles an hour. We're going to put a manual storm track on that, give you all a timeline, and I do expect these to make it to the DFW Metroplex in several hours for what it's worth. There may be more than fire further east, honestly. All right, what I say, 45? Well, not 75. I'm going to put 50 because, well, I can't. All right, so Anson, next several minutes. Stamford, next several minutes. Looters, about 920 to 925. Albany, 945. A city of Throckmorton, 940. Haskell, it's on your doorstep. Woodson, about 950. And again, that is a one-hour track. So in an hour, these will be touching Young County, Palo Pinto, or excuse me, Stevens County. So again, multiply that by two or three, and that'll be in the DFW Metroplex. This storm in Keller is intensifying further. That hail threat's increasing. Starting to see some intensification with the storms from Erath County down to southeast of Comanche. Uh, storm in western Collin County is intensifying. Probably some small hail now in portions of East Frisco, West Fairview, West McKinney, moving towards Prosper. Storm in Keller to Roanoke intensifying a bit. Could have at least quarter size hail with that. The hail threat could be increasing. Storm in South Fort Worth. Meh, doesn't look super duper scary in terms of hail at this point. That is good. We have no tornado warnings. We have multiple severe thunderstorm warnings. If I'm not talking about the storm near you, that is good. That just means that it's not worth me talking about in terms of strat or prioritizing slash triaging the stormies. So again, severe thunderstorm warning for the storm near Keller. Move it towards Roanoke, Argyle. <laughs> Flower Mound, Highland Village, eventually Corinth, the city of Den over the next 30 to 45 minutes. Storm currently in East Frisco to Fairview. Moving north, it'll cross 380 near Prosper in the next 10 to 20 minutes. The potential for it to produce... Uh, let's just say nickel size hail. 
Storm Prediction Center just put a discussion out on the North Texas big country region. I'm going to pull that up. I'll read it to y'all. All right. A cluster of supercells has evolved into a Boeing line of storms in Stonewall, Haskell, Jones counties. That's the uh, Haskell to Stanford and some stuff. This Boeing segment should persist east as it moves into better low-level moisture and nearly 70 knots of effective shear. The latest worn-on forecast system seems to have a decent handle on the evolution of the cluster through... 9 p.m. However, there is considerable spread in the storm mode from here forward with around half of the members showing one or more supercells emerging out of this bow. That would be a big problem. While other members show upscale growth into an even larger cluster of storms. Regardless of the exact storm mode, the threat will persist and a severe weather watch will likely be issued for North Texas, including the DFW Metroplex, shortly. So there you go with that. Big old mean line of storms from the west is going to keep moving east, and it's going to pay DFW a visit later, and it's not going to be a happy time. Later, probably at this point, two and a half to three hours away, but don't worry, until then, we have more storms to deal with ahead of it. Can't you tell? I'm thrilled. For those of you wanting radar, if you don't want to download our free app, you can go to our website, texasstormchasers.com slash radar. We've also got a live storm chasing video. We should. All right, let's see if the new her is out yet. No, but let me see. I'm going to try. Man, that... Uh, that Keller storm's intensifying a loft pretty quickly, uh, starting to show even larger indications of hail, same with the storm over downtown Fort Worth. So again, this storm moving into Denton County, the potential for quarter to maybe ping pong ball size hail near Trophy Club in the next five minutes, moving eventually towards North Lake, Current, Denton. Storm over downtown Fort Worth could have nickel size hail, maybe getting larger with time. All right, let me see if I can set this up. For those asking about our app, the ad-free options, we do have a page that explains that all. But, yeah, I believe it is $9.99 a year or a monthly option. Alright, I'm going to take a look at this. Alright, let me see if I can set this up. I'm going to break some stuff. Set this up. Preview editor. Hope it doesn't blow this up. It probably will. All right. The hell increasing potential as I'm looking from a radar in Abilene to the east. I'm looking aloft at a core. I'm just looking aloft to see increasing hail signatures aloft. All right. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Crosby and Lubbock County in Texas. Yeah, I'm not going to be showing you all that. Oh, forget it. I'll just blow this thing up if I try. Okay. Uh, any tornadoes in DFW? There are no tornado warnings at this point. No tornadoes. Can I rule one out later? No. Main issue will be wind and hail and heavy rain. Alright, what do we got with this?
Let me switch back to the state view. At least give or switch to a view and give y'all a loop of this. So you can at least Texas local storm report from one miles west northwest of Slayton in Lubbock County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 1.00 inch. Reported by train spotter. The Texas Storm Chasers app is free. If you'd prefer to use it with no ads, there is an ad-free option. $10 a year. And there's a monthly option. I'm actually looking to double check. And there's a trial period, by the way. You can try it. Why'd that tower cam quit? I don't think it did. I think just my version of it did. That's pretty rude. All right, so here's what storms have been doing over the last hour. I'll zoom out here in a minute. Let me Texas out. local storm report from one miles west northwest of Slayton in Lubbock County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 1.25 inches. Reported by train spotter. Again, plenty of storms. East Texas, we're behaving. No severe storms in East Texas right now. I can't totally rule one out, but it's not being a problem. DFW, increasing storms. Oh, it's a never-ending nightmare. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Crosby, Dickens, Floyd, and Motley County in Texas. DFW, you can see, zooming in, we've got a couple different storms. These could have uh, hail. Nickel to quarters, one west of McKinney on 380, just east of Prosper, one up pretty much now just north of 114, moving towards Denton, one on 35W, about two miles north of downtown, all moving north at about 30 to 40 miles an hour. And thank you, and hopefully we don't have any spinny spinny doom doom action overnight. Can't totally rule it out, but so far we've been fortunate. And then we have to deal with tomorrow. Oh. Texas local storm report from Roanoke in Denton County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 0 0.88 inches. Reported by emergency manager. All right, so Roanoke nickel size hail. Stop that. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Denton County in Texas. Yay.
All right. Technology and I not getting along. Not a surprise. Thank you, Duke. I'll turn the alarm down. Oh, my X split's frozen. Great. Well, folks, my stream may be about to uh, crash again. But, at least if we're going to crash, there's some things I can do here to prevent mischievous behavior. Like turning off auto-stop on YouTube so I can restart the stream on it without it technically just crashing on me. Which would be nice. So if this stops on YouTube for a minute, well... We'll be okay. That's what I'm going to do, because I might have to restart this program. But those of you watching on YouTube should be okay now that I turn off the auto stop. All right, so I'm going to have to stop. You're going to see me disappear for a second. If y'all are watching on anything but the Texas Storm Chasers website, mobile app, or on Texas Storm Chasers, Texas Weather Center on YouTube, y'all are going to lose this stream. Come join us on YouTube, our website, or mobile app, and I'll try to get one started again everywhere else, but... All right, well, we're back. Texas local storm report from Roanoke in Denton County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 1.25 inches. Reported by public. Additional information, report from Ping, half dollar, 1.25 inches. All right, make sure we're actually back. I hope we're back. Looks like we're back. 
All right. Well, now we're streaming directly to both YouTube channels, so we'll just stick with that. Sorry, my program crashed again. This thing's been very irritable as of late. I'm not happy about it. I'm not going to be happy if I have to switch to a new streaming program mid-season. All right, let's get back to it. We've got severe thunderstorms moving into Denton County. These thunderstorms are capable of producing quarter to ping pong ball size hail. City of Denton, you'll be getting hail in the next five to 10 minutes as this storm moves north at 30 to 35 miles an hour. We have other storms currently, Northern Tarrant County, Eagle Mound to Keller, that storm a bit weaker. Storm currently Western Northwestern Collin County, Salina to Weston, moving north, the potential for maybe some quarter size hail with that. A thunderstorm currently located now over the city of Bonham, the potential for quarter to ping pong ball size hail with that as the storm moves north at about 30 to 35 miles per hour. Back further west, we have a line of thunderstorms. From Weinart to Haskell to Stamford on Highway 277, moving east at about 45 miles per hour. These thunderstorms capable of producing tennis ball size hail. The threat of damage at straight Texas line winds local up storm miles report an hour. from three miles southwest of Double Oak in Denton County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 1.75 inches. Reported by public. Additional information: report from Ping Golf Ball. 1.75 inches. Or did golf ball size hail in Double Oak in Denton County? That thunderstorm about to enter the city of Denton. The potential for golf ball size hail. West Texas, we have a severe thunderstorm northeast to Slade, a severe thunderstorm southwest to Roaring Springs. Both storms moving northeast. About 25 to 30 miles an hour, the potential for quarter to golf ball size hail. We'll go back to the statewide view. Again, you can see we got storms. Texas local storm report from three miles west of Bonham in Fannin County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 1.00 inch. Reported by public. Additional information, report from Ping, quarter, one inch. So again, the potential four-quarter to golf ball size hail, west side to Corinth, about to enter the city of Denton in the next several minutes. Showers and thunderstorms with heavy rainfall, quite a bit of cloud-to-ground lightning ongoing across the Arklatex. Outside of the thunderstorm over the city of Bonham and Highway 82, there are no severe weather issues across East Texas this evening, uh, just heavy rain. We'll keep an eye out, but honestly, so far it's been okay. Uh, I can't totally rule something out overnight, but... We're doing okay. Big hail is going to be an issue with storms in North Texas, the big country, West Texas overnight, well into the overnight, damaging straight line winds, a low threat for a couple of tornadoes. There will be more storms overnight and tomorrow in North Texas, the big country, central Texas, the hill country, south central Texas. In fact, here, you want to see? Here's severe weather outlook for tomorrow. 
Severe thunderstorms are expected across portions of the Permian Basin, the Big Country, the Concho Valley, the Hill Country, South Central Texas, Central Texas, North Texas, the Arklatex, East Texas, Southeast Texas, the Golden Triangle, the Brazos Valley, the Coastal Plains, South Texas. So again, we're going to have plenty of storms tonight into tomorrow. why the one Zulu her's not rolling in here yet but once that's done I'll let you or let you all see it yes we have improved the stream audio Clearly, I'm going to have to install an update in a video driver tonight because this streaming issue has been quite problematic. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Fannin County in Texas. Yeah, I didn't mean to close the radar. Oopsie daisies. Just let this play. Again, we're going to have several storms overnight. Chance of hail, damaging winds... Can't totally rule out a few tornadoes, but the tornado threat is low overnight. A new flash flood warning has been issued for Bienville, Bossier, Caddo, and Webster County in Louisiana. Gregg, Harrison, Panola, Rusk, Smith, and Upshur County in Texas. Told y'all there was going to be flash flooding issues tonight. Bet you hadn't heard that sound before. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Haskell, Jones, Shackelford, and Throckmorton County in Texas. All right. I guess I'll get a stream going again on Facebook. I'm just going to do a manual one. Disadvantages, I can't get all the chats embedded on this stream easily, but at the same time, I'm tired of things crashing. It crashes again. Well, I'm just going to throw the computer out the window. Is that too much? Probably. Monday. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Denton, Tarrant, and Wise County in Texas. Oh, goody. Doesn't that sound fun? The answer is no. Texas local storm report from Dodd City in Fannin County, Texas. Hail magnitude measured 1.00 inch. Reported by train spotter. Yes, sir, Bob.
All right. Texas local storm report from three miles west of Bonham in Fannin County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 1.00 inch. Reported by public. Additional information, report from Ping, quarter, 1 inch. All right, we're on Facebook. We're on the U-Hoots. We should be okie dokie now. Sorry, technology hates me. But at least now, assuming things blow up again, I can at least just restart my program without the streams ending. A little more tedious to do it that way, but you know, when you got the bandwidth and the uh, hardware capability, you might as well. It is Monday evening now, approaching 9.35 p.m. on this, the 8th of April, 2024. I'm Texas Storm Chasers, Baldy and Chief David Reimer. We've got a flash flood warning now in effect for Interstate 20 in East Texas, all the way from Kilgore, Longview, all the way through Marshall into Shreveport, Louisiana, where we've got heavy rainfall, multiple heavy thunderstorms moving over the same locations and producing heavy, heavy rain. Uh, we've got scattered severe thunderstorms in Denton County. Eastern Wise County, Northwestern Collin County moving into Southern Grayson County. Those are moving north about 30 to 35 miles an hour. The potential for quarter to ping pong ball size hail. We've got a thunderstorm now approaching Tulip Telephone, Ravina, north of Highway 82 in Fannin County. The possibility of golf ball size hail with that storm as it now moves away from the city of Bonham. And then that'll eventually move towards Highway 70 near Bennington, Oklahoma. A complex of severe thunderstorms currently in around Haskell to Weinart to Stamford, capable of producing two inch diameter size hail. Damage straight line winds of 70 miles an hour, moving east at 30 miles an hour at slowed down. And we have other spotty storms capable of producing quarter to golf ball size hail north of Snyder, southwest of Crosbyton to near Roaring Springs. We expect additional thunderstorm development to occur this evening. For example, we have storms going up south of Breckenridge, south of Mineral Wells, near Live Pan, southwest of Weatherford. We could also see additional storms late, late tonight to Tuesday morning. Hill Country, Central Texas, East Texas. It's going to be a loud night. See if the new high res rapid refresh run is in. Oh, goody, 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 two shoes it is. Let's take a look at that. So what I'm going to do is load this. So this is going to be the high-res rapid refresh model for today, tonight. What I want to do is I want to look at 10 o'clock to see how it's doing. Now, we have nothing in southeast Texas. We have nothing in the Golden Triangle. We have nothing in the Brazos Valley. We have nothing in central Texas. Uh, so the model's not handling the current situation well, unfortunately, which means I'm hesitant to show you the data for the rest of the night because it may not be handling that well either. But I'll show you with the caveat being, uh, it may not be doing super well. That being said, here's midnight. Still, activity, Texoma, North Texas, Northeast Texas, that seems probable. Southeast Texas, eh, well, there's nothing going on right now, so probably not. 2 a.m., still, North Texas, Northeast Texas, that seems reasonable, but the potential for stuff further southeast, not as much. And again, you can just see as we go through tomorrow morning, storms galore. Instead of that, I'm going to... I'm going to show you a different model. I want to see how it's handling the current situation. Give me just a second. So we're going to look at the North American model. I don't even think it's in yet. So no, I can't. It's frustrating. It is frustrating. 
a 67 mile per hour wind gust in Haskell with that complex of storms in western North Texas slash the northern big country. We'll turn the radar back on. I'm just going to let this loop. Thunderstorms across North Texas, Northeast Texas, and East Texas are generally moving north, northeast, about 30 miles an hour. Heavy rain, frequent cloud-to-ground lightning. Some of these storms are producing hail and strong wind gust. There are no tornadoes. There are no tornado warnings. A complex of thunderstorms in the big country, West Texas, could have quarter to golf ball size hail, winds 70 miles an hour. Moving east at about 30 miles an hour towards Throckmorton, Graham, Breckenridge. That could be an issue for the DFW Metroplex later this evening. Again, it's just going to be a rowdy night with storms. We'll see more storms develop overnight. Texoma, the big country, north Texas, northeast Texas. The flash flooding threat will continue all night across places like Longview, Marshall, Wascom, over to Shreveport, east Texas. Uh, we'll keep an eye on storms developing. We're going to be here. We'll be taking some breaks here and there, mainly because I'm tired. I've had three hours of sleep since... Uh, what is this, Monday evening? So, s Sunday morning? We're gonna be here. So the person asking, do I condition my beard? I just use head and shoulders. Dandruff control for bald head, and it does a decent job of moisturizing my beard. I don't do anything more fancy fancy than that. I try to be as low maintenance as possible. In other words, I'm lazy. Texas local storm report from Roanoke in Denton County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 1.00 inch. Reported by public. Additional information, report from Ping, quarter, 1 inch. So, we'll be here for the evening. The best question or the best answer I can give you is, when are the storms going to hit me? Well, you can track the storms all you want. Get your local weather forecast, interactive weather radar, and more in the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers where you download apps for your device. We're going to be here all night. Meteorologist Jason Cooley is actually probably going to go out storm chasing here shortly. Maybe. We'll see. If not, he's welcome to do some severe weather coverage while I take a nap. And again, strongest storms overnight. Could be producing hail well into the night. I think that's going to be the most common hazard tonight. Hail, 
We could see some localized strong winds. Can't totally rule out a tornado. But the main issue, hail, flooding, and heavy rainfall in northeast Texas and east Texas. The potential for some of those storms, a lot of lightning as well. But again, the main issue, east Texas, Northeast Texas at least seems to be flooding. Marshall, Longview, Wascom over to Shreveport. Definitely going to have a lot of more rain to 9 to tomorrow. The flooding threat will be substantial. And I don't mean to make it sound like the day is over. We're going to have storms all night. And some of these are going to be quite rowdy with hail. I'm just sitting here. Might almost be snack time. Honestly, that's probably what it is about to be snack time. But again, the most intense storms we're dealing with, definitely that cluster out here in the big country. Approaching Throckmorton, east of Haskell to Stamford now. That cluster definitely has the potential for very large hail. Damaging straight line winds over 70 miles an hour. We had a 67 mile an hour wind gust in Haskell. And this line of storms, this cluster's moving east at about 40. Uh, that's going to continue through the Metroplex probably in about two to two and a half hours for what it's worth. In some sort of variation. We'll have more storms, that's for sure. Okay, it's 945. What we're going to do now, I'm going to zoom out. Stream's not going anywhere, but I'm going to switch to the music feed for about 10 minutes. Let me go grab a snack, try to re-energize my sleepy self. Texas local storm report from 3NW Rolling in Denton night. County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 1.00 inch. Reported by public. Additional information, report from ping, quarter, 1 inch. What kind of snacks, to be honest, I don't know yet. All right, so... We'll keep an eye on things. We'll be back by 9.55, sooner if necessary, to the music we go. Brown button. Brown button. And yes, some locations are going to get hit more than once tonight with more storms.
Ladies and gentlemen, I have good news. I found chocolate-covered walnuts, or almonds, excuse me. I think they have walnuts, too, though, so it's okay. Either way, I found lip balm, which is always a blessing after you're talking for seven hours. Lip balm, a must. Your lippies get dry. The chocolate-covered almonds, not mine. I stole them from a roomie. I will have to get the roomie more chocolate-covered almonds, but I'm a happy, happy boy now. All right, I'm also talking about myself in the third person, clearly. Ouchies. All right, let's talk about what's going on. Well, at this point, uh, if you're an East Singer, I have good news and I have bad news. The bad news is that storm, hold on, let's just, let, let's just load the magical super duper button of life. All right, I'm gonna recline. You'll have to excuse me, but uh, you don't really get a choice because I'm baldy. This little stormy... Oh, come on. There we go. Radar, thank you. This little storm over East Saint are showing some indications of intensifying. They might have to put a severe thunderstorm warning out for it. Big old cluster of storms now covering a majority of Denton County. All moving north towards Cook County. It's going to rain. It's going to pour. It's going to flood. Because, well, it's pouring rain. So again, this storm near Pilot Point, probably going to need a severe thunderstorm warning for quarter to ping pong ball size hail soon. That's going to be moving up towards Collinsville, Whitesboro, east of Valley View, up towards areas between Gainesville and Whitesboro on Highway 82. And then, yes, that may go say hello to uh, places like Dexter, Gordonville, maybe passing just east of Thackerville and Winstar. We got some storms in Ponder, Argyle, more storms in Den, New Hope, Oak Point, Little Elm, Lakewood Village. The potential for storms to produce heavy rain, lightning, at least pockets of small hail, maybe some hail larger than the size of quarters in spots. With that, and we're seeing new storms develop across portions of Parker County. Uh, it's about to, there's just about to be a lot of storms out here in North Texas, which would actually be good because that would help at least keep the threat for tornadoes lower. But we may see plenty of storms, strongest of which could have hail, quarter to ping pong ball size, hopefully nothing bigger, but can't rule it out. The potential for localized damaging winds over 60 miles an hour. The overall tornado threat tonight, very low to low, but not completely zero. Because if you say zero, Mama Nature's going to be like, you think there's no threat? I'll show you. And then bad things happen. So we're not going to do that because that's just a no-no situation. All righty tidy. You know, I'm kind of scared to go look and see how many of you have downloaded the app today. I haven't looked, but I haven't gotten a message that the server exploded either, so that's always beneficial. Yeah, uh... Let me guess, Denton County? Cook County? A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Cook, Denton, and Grayson County in Texas. Cool. I win a cookie. So again, that's going to be a severe thunderstorm warning. I just issued two. All 
All right, so that's severe thunderstorm warning. Hail core between Sainer Pilot Point, moving north towards Valley View, Gainesville, Callsburg. Eventually, if it ends up staying right along 35, that will hit Windstar in Thackerville. And that would be an ouchie situation, but it'll also move towards Lake Kiowa, Collinsville, Tioga, Valley View, Woodbine, Oak Ridge, Callsburg, Callisburg, Dexter, Thackerville, Gordonville, eventually. And then there's some other storms, one over Prosper with small hail, one over Ponder with small hail, all that moving north. You can see we've got plenty of storms firing up now. This stuff out west, that cluster's moving east. It's just about to be a mess. Even more so. Then we've got East Texas. We got storms, long view over to Marshall to Shreveport, heavy rain with flooding. Just looking at that storm near Frankston, it had a little weird shape to it. Not seeing any indications of strong low-level rotation. We'll keep an eye on it, though. You'd think the low-levels would be overturned out there with as many storms as we've had today, but you never know, Mother Nature can be a troll. So again... I mean, at this point, I'm just going to switch this to the loop because this is starting to get confusing with as many storms as we have. It's a mess. It is a big old mess. You can see it's just a mess. Most activity from Wichita Falls to Mineral Wells East is moving northeast. The cluster coming in from Haskell to Throckmorton is moving due east. Eventually, all this activity is going to be moving more to the east than north. Flooding threat definitely is concerning tonight. Longview to Marshall to Wascom to, well, Shreveport, Louisiana. Snap! A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Collingsworth and Donley County in Texas. Way out west? No, the panhandle? What are we doing up here? Oh, for heaven's sake. Why? Stop that. Rude. What do we got going on up here? Oh, a little hailer north of Memphis near Headley. That could be an issue for Interstate 40 near Shamrock. Maybe some nickel to quarter size hail with that. Great. We have storms still out west. You can see a couple of storms keep trying to develop. Haskell. The Haskell storm's trying to make it to DFW. It may pass towards Denton County, but it's probably going to make it to DFW. Yeah, storms colliding, not usually great. I mean, it's just going to result in a lot of rain, a flood threat. Uh, we're going to eventually, this is just going to be quite messy, which, I mean, it helps reduce the tornado threat, at least in this case, because, well, if these storms keep doing this, they're not going to gain enough low-level organization to be tornadic, but we're going to have a flooding issue. We're going to have an issue with heavy rain, strong winds, so it's going to be loud tonight. It's going to be raining, pouring, the old man going to be snoring. I wish I was snoring, but I'm not. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Haskell and Throckmorton County in Texas.
Severe storm taking hold southwest of Breckenridge, or supercell looks like. Could pose a threat for some hail on 180 near Breckenridge in the next hour. That storm near... Boy, that thing moving towards into Cook County is just having a temper tantrum. Clearly, some source of upper-level lift is arriving, given the fact we are now dealing with a number of intensifying thunderstorms. Storm and Valley View is nasty. Storm moving towards Throckmorton, also quite nasty. I do not know why sirens would be going off in the city of Den. There's no reason for sirens to be going off in the city of Den. We're likely going to see a number of new severe thunderstorm warnings sooner rather than later across North Texas as we see an uptick in thunderstorm intensity. All these little cells going up are showing indications of developing hail cores. Yeah, I don't get much sleep this time of year. I'll sleep on uh, Wednesday, probably. I'll sleep a little tonight. naps here and there. It is my job. All right, storm moving to Valley View. Lake Kiowa, Woodbine, Oak Ridge could have golf ball to two inch diameter size hail as it moves north. Probably some winds near Valley View up to 60 miles an hour. A thunderstorm now near Garner in western Parker County, eastern Palo Pinto County moving north towards Salesville, Perrin, Joplin, Angs. That could have maybe some nickel to quarter size hail. A supercell taking shape southwest of Breckenridge moving north, northeast towards Breckenridge and Highway 180. That could have some quarter size hail. We could have P to dime size hail, Crumb to Slidell to Aubrey to Salina to Pilot Point to Gunter. With those storms in the next few minutes, we could have nickel size hail with the storm over Denison about to move north over the east side of Lake Texoma. We could again have golf ball to two inch diameter size hail with the thunderstorm between Tioga Valley View moving north towards Lake Kiowa, Gainesville, Oak Ridge. And then the comp little line of storms coming in Throckmorton. Uh, that'll pass between, well, pretty much from Fort Griffin up to Throckmorton. The potential for tennis ball sized hail winds of 70 to 80 miles an hour. That's an ouchy situation. And again, those of you being like nothing, oh, you really shouldn't be toying Mother Nature when we've still got a lot of storms to go tonight. Boy, Z Bob, y'all are just asking for hail. Oh, back to East Texas. There are no severe thunderstorm warnings. We have a flash flood warning. Uh, Kilgore, Longview, Marshall, Greenwood. Heavy rain's going to be the main threat. We've got heavy rain moving back into Tyler, Longview, Kilgore, Lakeport, Hallsville, Marshall. The potential for significant flooding tonight in Shreveport, Louisiana. That's going to be the biggest issue out there, and the hail core in eastern Cook County is taking off. That thing is just, that is that is a mean son of a gun right there. That thing could be producing tennis ball size hail now in southeastern Cook County. This storm moving towards east sides of Valley View, southeast sides of... Cook County. And yeah, there could be some big hail on Denison as well. We'll see. 
But again, storms clearly are intensifying now in North Texas as more upper level lift arrives. All these little beans are quickly materializing into elevated supercells capable of producing big hail, large hail. And as you see, there are a number of them, which in a sense is good. It'll keep the tornado threat lower since, well, you won't have any storms out by themselves, but also bring hail to more people. So giddy up, ladies and gentlemen, those of you who are like, bust, 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 it's a bust, 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 bust. Well, guess what? There's about to be a lot of hail in North Texas. The insurance adjusters are about to get busy. Oh. Sorry, I've had about three hours of sleep since Sunday morning, so at some point you just have to sit here and stare. Which is why I'm just literally letting y'all look at the radar image and see the mess this is evolving into. I said we were going to have more storms tonight in Texoma, North Texas. Well, there you go. We've got a number of them. Yay. Strongest storms could produce... Big hail. Honestly, we could still see some hail sized baseballs tonight. And the most intense storms, not all storms are going to produce baseball size hail, but for example, that storm east of Valley right now, yeah, moving towards Lake Kiowa, yeah, it could be dropping a baseball size hailstone or two. Strong winds, heavy rain. We'll see more hail, more storms tonight. We're going to have storms in the morning. Perbian Basin, the Big Country, the Contra Valley, the Hill Country, Central Texas, the Brazos Valley, Southeast Texas. And then tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night, Wednesday morning, we're going to have another round of severe storms that could move across the Edwards Plateau. South Central Texas, the Coastal Plain, Southeast Texas. Sorry, my eyes, I'm tired, so... That's why I'm just closing my eyes at this point and talking. It's easier for me to actually just sit here and talk with my eyes closed than it is to stare at a computer monitor. So again, a number of thunderstorms have developed across portions of the big country, Texoma, North Texas, Northeast Texas, early this evening. I guess it's mid-evening now. Most of this activity is tending to move to the north-northeast, but the complex of storms around Throckmorton will continue moving east towards the western northern periphery of the DFW Metroplex. We're going to have storms firing ahead of it. The most intense storms over the next few hours across portions of the big country, North Texas. Texoma will be capable of producing hail, quarter to baseballs. Only the most intense storms will be doing baseball size hail. Most storms, even the severe ones, generally would be dime, nickel, quarter, maybe golf ball size hail. Strong wind gusts are possible. Localized damaging winds over 60 miles an hour. Can't rule out a threat of a tornado or two, but clearly we're not dealing, haven't had many tornado issues today. We had one tornado warning near New Waverly at about 3.30 p.m., I think, so... Uh, it's been, what, almost six hours at least since we've had a tornado warning in Texas, knock on wood. So, again, it's we just got storms galore. Yeah, put on some shades, honestly. Oh, boy, that storm in East Valley View is doing some bad things. Hey, Siri. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Kent and Stonewall hey, County you in Texas. Hey, got Zello up? was to meteorologist Jason Cooley. He actually had work this evening, but now he's going to get a call because clearly it's time for him to go play with Hale. He's probably had less or about as much sleep as I did. That's unfortunate. BRB.
a new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Cook and Denton County in Texas. An intense severe thunderstorm capable of producing tennis ball size hail is located four miles east of Valley View, moving north northeast towards Lake Kiowa, Oak Ridge, Woodbine, Whitesboro, east sides of Gainesville. This is a very intense thunderstorm, probably the strongest hail core we've seen so far today. We also have a severe thunderstorm that is developing a hail core quickly now. West-southwest sides of Sainer moving towards Valley View, Gainesville, Windstar World Casino. A third storm over Prosper to Salina, the potential for large hail, well, maybe some quarter size hail. Uh, the storms west of Sainer, the storm just northeast of Valley View. Both storms showing indications of producing very large hail. The storm east of Valley View may be producing giant hail. That storm moving north towards Highway 380, Whitesboro, Oak Ridge, Lake Kiowa, Woodbine, Collisburg, Dexter, Gordonville. The potential for giant hail with this storm. Storm just west of Sainer moving towards Valley View, Gainesville, Thackerville, Windstar. The potential for quarter to golf ball size hail. Further west... We've got just a mess. Storm southwest of Breckenridge, moving towards Breckenridge, likely going to need a severe thunderstorm warning soon for quarter size hail at least. That thunderstorm is intensifying, will require a severe thunderstorm warning shortly. We've got a storm over Elbert, northwest of Newcastle, that could have quarter size hail. Storm southwest of Throckmore, northwest of Fort Griffin, looking a little less intense now. Could still have golf ball size hail, winds to 70 miles an hour. Back into the big country, we have a new storm that has gone up south of Jane. Like I said, these were going to keep going up this evening. That storm showing indications of quarter to golf ball size hail. That could be an issue for Aspermont by 11 p.m. Again, we got more storms going up in West Texas. Clearly, we've now got a source of upper level lift, and that has allowed for the materialization and development of additional supercell thunderstorms capable of producing large to damaging hail. No tornadoes with these at this point and not seeing any indications of tornadoes at this time uh, you got to keep an eye on those radar the radars in the apps because sometimes they'd like to do false positives for rotation all these storms are rotating but these are not tornadic in nature at this time we'll check on these storms in east texas and stuff out west is intensifying make sure we don't have anything nonsensical going on out here Okay, I will admit, there is a bit of rotation with this storm near Moore Station, Berryville, southwestern Smith County. It is not strong, but it is there. We'll keep an eye on it. Again, the low-level thermodynamics with the amount of low-level instability available out here probably isn't all that high because we've had storms all day, heavy rain. So, this storm may be what we call elevated in the sense that it could be spinning like a top aloft, but that, that it's not going to produce a tornado. That being said, we are going to monitor it carefully, just in cases, because if we don't, Mother Nature will be like, <laughs> and do something stupid. But again, a broad area of rotation around Moore City to Coffee City, probably some gusty winds in Coffee City to Berryville. We'll keep an eye on it, just in case, but at this point, nothing that screams spinny spinny doom doom potential out here. Again, all these storms are rotating. We have a lot of wind shear aloft. We also have a new severe thunderstorm watch for Texoma in North Texas. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Palo Pinto, Stevens, and Young County in Texas. Okay, so Breckenridge, you could have golf ball size hail in town here pretty quick. This severe storm moving northeast at 35 to 40 miles an hour. That'll be moving towards Graham, Young County. And again, we're seeing a lot of these storms go up now. This may continue to be a trend, in which case... Gear up, folks, because if we're doing supercells like this, we're going to have big hail problems develop in the next 30 to 60 minutes. I mean, this storm in eastern Cook County could be dropping big, giant hail. I mean, that is a nasty, I mean, that is the black hole of abyss right there approaching Lake Kiowa. To get that kind of a radar signature using the color scheme we're using on this radar, this thing's got more hail in it than a Maserati with twin turbos. I have no idea what I'm talking about, but... Clearly, the caffeine has kicked in, so let's get to it. So again, Oak Ridge, Whitesboro, 
Kylesburg, east side of Gainesville, you better have your car under something because you're about to have bowling balls fall out of the sky. Severe storm west of Sane are also showing indications of producing more damaging hail. This one could be throwing out golf ball to tennis ball size hail as it moves northeast towards Era Valley View. It's honestly moving more north than northeast. Lindsay, Munster, Gainesville, Thackerville, Windstar. Guess what? You got a storm with big hail in it coming to say hello. Hide your cars, hide your wives, hide your kids, and please don't play with hail while it's falling out of the sky. Please and thank you. Clearly, the caffeine's kicked in. Storms going up in Parker County. At this point, they are behaving themselves, but we're going to have to keep a very close eye on them given the tendencies we've seen over the last 30 minutes for these things to get, to get rather problematic in the hail department so be ready for some hail if you're in wise county parker county uh this stuff out west clearly is going to form into a blob of doom that's going to come on east and say yippity 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 do who wants to play with hail <laughs> the radar obviously a new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for haskell and jones county in texas Those saying stay hydrated, you are absolutely correct. I would like to introduce you to my super special water bottle. You see that hail core over Breckenridge that just went up from uh, quarters to like baseballs on the radar data? That doesn't mean we have baseballs, by the way. It just means the hail core loft is intensifying and we're all going to have to cry. Oh, I really am zoomed in. My apologies. Let's try that. There's your water bottle. So again, severe thunderstorm watch now for North Texas, Texoma, including Mineral Wells, the DFW Metroplex, east, all the way up to the Red River through 4 a.m. Tuesday. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Cook and Grayson County in Texas. <sighs> By the way, thank you very much to our moderators. We couldn't do any of this without them, and they are awesome. They are awesome blossom. You better be nice to them or I'll ban you. Excuse me. All right, so again, it's a little interesting signature. Do we have any spinny, spinny, doom, doom? No. But again, you can see we all these are trying to be supercells now. We got a supercell crossing 82 over Oak Ridge. That could have big hail. We got a supercell now between Slidell and Sane are about to move into Era and Valley View. Big hail. We have a supercell taking shape in northwestern Parker County. The potential for that to start throwing out big hail. We have a supercell over Breckenridge that looked like the one in Parker County 20 minutes ago. Now it could be throwing out golf ball to tennis ball size hail. Storms in Young County, Newcastle, Olney, Throckmore, and all of that has the potential to produce hail, heavy rain, flooding rain, big hail, big wind. Guess what? We got more. We got a supercell now south of Jane again, southwest of Aspermont. Big hail. Supercell trying to go up between Stanford and Luters. Big hail. You want more? Merry Christmas. We have a storm east of Rawls. Hail. Moving northeast. You want more? Cool. Guess what? Eastern Texas Panhandle. Hail. Approaching Shamrock. Everyone gets hail. It's a haily kind of a night. Yippity, yippity, yippity do, ladies and gentlemen. It's time for you to say hello. And then East Texas, you get flooding. You don't get the hail right now, but you get the flooding. Merry Christmas. Boy, Breckenridge, y'all are just, y'all were not in a good position when that supercell got going. Y'all are just about to have a bad evening. What is it, almost 10.30 and y'all are about to get golf balls in town? That is quite unfortunate. Okay, Adam's got a stream back up. Hail and Breckenridge, wow. Let's take a look at this. Yes, he does. In fact, we'll make sure we get Jason's up. Uh, Jason doesn't have a stream yet. 
That's okay. I don't know why the Dallas cam button isn't working. We'll just disappear that for now. Oh, because it's under the radar. How did it make under the radar? Okay, well, at least now I know why that stopped working, because I'm a derp. Interesting. Okay, well, let me fix that. Okay, well, that's fixed. Yay. Okay, Adam has it for coverage. Yay. Let's take a look at Adam's feed. Looks like they just took a power hit in Breckenridge. You see that? The lights went off and came back on right as we switched scenes. So we're going to know what's going on in Breckenridge in a minute, because Adam, Chelsea, Jenny are all in Breckenridge, Texas, and they are about to have a bad day. All right, we're going to go back to this. So again, I'll show you where they are. They are on this storm that popped up in Breckenridge that went from nothing to ouchies. In fact, honestly, it's starting to show an interesting low-level signature with it. I am not going to be happy if that tries to go tornadic. It's not showing signs of going tornadic, but just to be clear, we're watching carefully. Uh, thunderstorm capable of producing at least 10 egg size hail, 2 inches in diameter. We're going to know pretty quick because Adam, Chelsea, Jenny are in Brackenridge under the shelter and sanctity of a gas station awning. Uh, we'll keep an eye on their stream. In fact, I'm going to play it out over my big 4K monitor. Just so I can have a full screen view of this. Maybe not. I can't press buttons. Okay, we're going to stop pressing buttons lest I break this again. Nope, I already broke it. Great. Wonderful. Okay, we're not touching any more buttons. Apparently pressing buttons on X splits like me trying to kill it so we're not going to do that but at least the stream deck works well all right Boy, that Breckenridge storm is doing some interesting things notice that hook echo starting to develop texas local storm report from 5 nw sanger in denton county texas hail magnitude measured 1.00 inch a quarter reported size by hail public. with this storm. additional information report from ping quarter one inch. So Adam, Chelsea, Jenny are in Breckenridge. That's Highway 180. About 80, 90 miles west of Fort Worth. Fort Worth. We're just going to... And we're going to keep... Now we'll switch back to the radar, but we're going to start watching for giant chunks of ice falling out of the sky. We got big hail, at least quarter size hail falling out of the storm that's about to move into ERA, west of Valley View. That could be an issue for Munster, Lindsay, Gainesville. We got big hail just east of Gainesville, uh, up to Oak Ridge. That'll be moving up to Carlsberg, and eventually the Red River, Whitesboro, Sadler, Gordonville, Dexter. That looks like hail. Let's get back to Adam's feed. Looking for chunks of ice bouncing off of that railing. It's pouring. I can't tell if that's ice or not. If it's not, it's going to get worse in a minute.
Cook County, you have a problem. Storm number one over Oak Ridge, east sides of Gainesville, Woodbine, Colesburg, Whitesboro, moving north towards Dexter, Gordonville, could have quarter to tennis ball size hail. Storm number two could have quarter to golf ball size hail from near Leo, Era, Valley View, moving north towards Munster, Mira, Lindsay, Gainesville, Marysville, and eventually Thackerville, Oklahoma. We've got a storm southeast of Joplin in Wise County on Highway 199. That could be producing nickel to quarter size hail, moving north towards Vineyard, Runaway Bay, east of Jacksboro, eventually up towards Bowie. We've got Supercell northwest of Graham moving northeast. Could have nickel to quarter size hail. That's moving towards Winthorst. We've got a storm going up south of Bryson, southwest of Jacksboro. That's moving northeast. That could have nickel size hail. We've got a storm over Breckenridge producing at least quarter size hail. It could be closer to the size of golf balls, if not a bit larger than that, over the next several minutes in town. Adam's there, though his selfie just went out, so I uh, hope he didn't get hit by lightning. Uh, we got Van Alstine, Gunter, small hail, heavy rain, lightning, maybe some gusty winds. That's moving north up 289, up 75 towards Hal, Gunter from Van Alstine, moving towards Sherman, Luella, Norwood, Denison, west of Bells, east Texas. We got storms, we got heavy rain, small hail, gusty winds, nothing severe out here, but we do have quite a bit of heavy rain with flash flooding concerns. It's blue box, that's your flash flood warning. I gotta reset the radar. I overdid the download of the, uh, data apparently adam's feeds texas back Let's local check. storm report from two miles southeast of gainesville in cook county texas hail magnitude measured 1.75 inches reported by emergency manager all right so golf balls near gainesville just got a report from adam chelsea and jenny of quarter size hail in breckenridge we'll see if it gets any bigger Radar is estimating it could be close to the size of golf balls. And again, let me just... Here, let's do a state view. I'll turn off the satellite. Merry Christmas. There's the radar. You can see we got storms that have... That went from zilch to... <laughs> very quickly over the last hour. Most of these storms moving north or northeast. And you can see... If they're in the big country... Or North Texas, or Texoma, they've got hail. Texas local storm report from 14 miles south of Irby in Throckmorton County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 1.00 inch. Reported by public. Additional information, report from Ping, quarter, 1 inch. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Haskell, Jones, Shackelford, and Throckmorton County in Texas. We have plenty of rain in northeast Texas, Tyler to Longview to Marshall to Shreveport. None of those storms are severe, but... Texas local storm report from one mile southwest of Breckenridge in Stevens County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 1.00 inch. Reported by public. Additional information, report from Ping, quarter, one inch. Tyler, it's pouring, it's storming, you got heavy rain, nothing that's big hail, big wind, or tornadoes, but flooding's going to be a concern.
Adam, Chelsea, and Jenny are in Breckenridge. I'm something. I'll say this. I'm starting to see something a little interesting happen here. Stand by. Let me pull up the radar. This is the first time we've seen this in a while. We're going to have to watch it carefully. Hey, Radar, you want to load any time today? Or do you just want me to make angry goat noises? Now, here's what we're going to have to watch, because I'm not quite sure if this storm is behind an outflow boundary. If it is not, we're going to have a problem, because take a look at what we have going on. It's your rear flank downdraft coming around on the back side of the storm. Starting to see a low-level circulation attempt to develop here. Now, that does not mean we have a tornado in the initialization phases, but it's the first time we've actually seen a storm do this since about 3.30 down in New Waverly in southeast Texas. We're going to have to wait and see something clearly is going on here. Even if we don't have a low-level circulation, that in itself indicates a very well-organized supercell thunderstorm capable of producing damaging hail, a lot of wind, and perhaps we'll have to watch for indications of a low-level circulation. Let's check Adam's feet again. They've got some good light. We got any hail still falling in Breckenridge? Looks pretty windy. Poor all subs. It's raining. It's pouring. It's hailing. Those are white chunks of hail falling out of the sky. Oh, I don't see any baseballs. So that's good. Based on the fact these other vehicles are driving in there like mad. I'm going to assume something's going on since typically you don't see vehicles driving super quickly into gas stations unless they're trying to hide from hail. Yeah, something's going on with this Breckenridge storm. Whether or not, I don't know if it's behind an outflow boundary. I don't like the way that looks at all. I don't like that. Now, the velocity's not crazy. I mean, there's some area of rotation, but it's not super strong. But we're also looking pretty low to the ground here. Here, I'll show you what I mean. Let me switch on that tool that'll let me show you the altitude of the radar beam here. We're looking about 1,500 feet, which is decently low level. Let me look up a couple tilts. Now here's about 5,000 feet. Let me switch over to the... You can see definitely there at about 4,500 feet we have an area of rotation. Pretty good hook echo. Now the question is, is that area of stronger rotation aloft going to be able to spin down to the surface? You can see there at 10,000 feet we have strong rotation, a strong mid-level mesocyclone. But the question is, is this storm going to be able to take that rotation and bring it down to the lower level? So you can see here at 3,000, much weaker. And then by the time you get down to 2,500 or even, you know, 1,500, we're dealing with much, much more modest rotation. Well, I picked a real bad spot with the shadows there to park, but you can see chunks of white falling out of the sky. We'll keep an eye on it. All right, so now that we did that, uh, what is this? Throckmorton. Stop it. Okay, that's not rotating. That's just a spooky-looking signature. All right, let's go back out here, make sure we're not missing anything. Apparently, I broke the background engine again. That's okay. I don't really care that much. Uh, Callsburg, you could have some hail. Uh, how big? That's up to y'all, but please let us know after it's done falling. Would love to know. Report a golf ball size hail in Breckenridge. Oh, we got storm west of Valley View that's moving north towards Munster. 
Lindsay, Gainesville, that could have quarter-size hail. The storm in southern Grayson County near Van Alstine to Gunter could have nickel-size hail. Moving to the north towards Sherman, heavy rain. Back to Adam. Now, here's something. You want to see a little fun meteorology? Let me show you what's happened. And this is one of the first times we've seen this today. Ladies and gentlemen, hey, radar, load, or I'm going to make angry goat noises. Let me show you this. This storm turned hard right. Look how it was going northeast. Now it's slowed down. It's going east. This thing took a hard right. This thing's moving due east now, almost. Ignore what that storm track thing says there. This thing turned hard right. This thing's moving due east. This thing's going to be a threat to Caddo in eastern Stevens County. Uh, this thing's moving right towards Caddo, Brad, Metcalf, Metcalf Gap. Honestly, it's going to probably try to make a run at a... Let me tell you. Now, we've got a supercell. This thing's not moving northeast anymore. This thing's moving due east. It's going like that. Potential for tennis ball size hail, damaging straight line winds. And for the first time... I need to stop doing that. For the first time in several hours, the potential for at least a non-zero tornado threat. Uh, this thunderstorm, definitely one to watch. Uh, definitely the most intense we've seen in terms of supercell characteristics in the last several hours. So we're going to have to watch for that. I didn't know if we were going to get that behavior tonight. Clearly we are, which is not necessarily good. Uh, so we're going to have to watch all these other storms now, too, because clearly if we're going to be doing this, the potential for some mischievous behavior may be increasing for western North Texas. And again, let's just go over real quick severe thunderstorm warnings. <sighs> okay, I'm just going to verbally read them. And... Turn off the radar, and I'll switch it back to this. I'll let y'all watch the loop. I'm going to just verbally read off where we got the strongest hail, because clearly we got some issues. I'll switch to the full screen. There you go. Again, we're focused on the most intense storms. It's raining in East Texas right now. There's nothing severe. There's nothing... Tornadic, there's no big hail, there's no damaging winds, knock on wood. Let's make sure of that real quick. I'm looking on another screen. Uh, okay. Supercell over Dexter, now north of 82, Callsburg, northern Grayson, excuse me, northern. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Young County in Texas. Okay, we'll deal with that in a minute. Uh, moving over northern Cook County, near Dexter, north of Callsburg, north of Oak Ridge, north of Whitesboro. That could have golf ball size hail. Storm over, uh, let's say, northeast of Leo, northeast of Era, northwest of Valley View, moving north. Uh, that's weakened pretty quickly here. That's the good news with that. Hail threats dropped off with that considerably. Storms trying to take hold across portions of Parker, Wise, Jack counties. Those could attempt to become severe with hail over the next little while. Uh, we've got... Storms in western, well, pretty much all of Young County, back towards Throckmorton. That's moving from west to east. That could have quarter to golf ball size hail. Damaging straight line winds over 60 miles an hour. We have a supercell now just northeast of Breckenridge, east of Breckenridge, moving east down Highway 180. That could have damaging hail, strong winds, and a non-zero threat of a tornado. Uh, we've got a supercell about... 
eight miles northeast of Looters. That's moving northeast towards Throckmorton. Throckmorton, you just had one storm with hail. You might get another. We have a severe storm about nine miles west of Aspermont, moving east towards Aspermont. That could have quarter size hail, some strong winds. So again, Texas uh, things... local storm report from eight miles west of Whitesboro in Cook County, Texas. Hail magnitude measured 1.50 inches. Ping pong. Reported by train spotter. Okay. So again, hail is going to be the most common issue with these storms tonight. Big hail, at times, strong winds, perhaps a tornado or two. We're going to have to keep an eye on these storms. Uh, starting to see a bit of rotation. With this storm east of Throckmorton entering Young County from the west on Highway 380. Let's zoom in. Again, looking out here in East Texas, these storms are not severe. They have heavy rain, uh, maybe pea-sized hail, a lot of lightning. Flooding is the main issue. Tyler, Longview, Marshall, Wascom, Shreveport, Louisiana. Flooding. Several inches of rain has fallen. More rain likely tonight. The flooding issues are going to get worse. Watch for flood out or water over roads watch for roads that may be flooded out be very mindful of the fact it's the middle of the night you may not be able to see it very easily so i drive more slowly than usual so you have time to stop and don't drive into a flash flood by accident we don't need folks getting washed away uh, okay and then back west you can see we just got storms we got storms eastern panhandle west texas those are behaving themselves a little more and then a big old cluster here in western north texas Austin, yeah, y'all are going to have issues tomorrow morning. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for King and Stonewall County in Texas. In fact, let's see if we can get a new high res rapid refresh model look. All right. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to go to the statewide view. Coming up to 11 o'clock. Now, what I want to look at is what this model has at 11 o'clock. Now, it's doing okay. Now, we don't have storms in southeast Texas, so we don't have any of that. But it's doing okay with the stuff in north Texas, east Texas. Uh, the reason I say that is we want to see how the model does with the stuff that's ongoing now to see if it's actually going to be able to handle stuff later tonight. So, let's take a look. And I'll loop this. Um, we're going to go frame by frame, but then we'll loop it. Y'all will be able to see the animation. All right, let's go to 1 a.m. Storms continuing, especially in northern DFW, Texoma, northeast Texas, heavy rainfall. This stuff in southeast Texas, honestly, nothing's going on down there right now. I don't know if that's going to happen. 3 a.m. It's still storming in Texoma, North Texas, Northeast Texas. Some of these storms producing maybe a bit of hail, gusty winds, heavy rainfall, flooding. Uh, again, there's nothing going on right now in the coastal plain, Southeast Texas. So if that's not going on, uh, it may just be the model being overzealous. We'll see. That being said, stuff still going on in North Texas at 5 a.m. Northeast Texas, heavy rain, flooding. We've got some issues in South Central Texas. If this is right, maybe some isolated storms with maybe some hail. South Central Texas, the coastal plains. Again, we're going to have to see. That's not a guarantee. Uh, model's been overdoing it down there in terms of storms tonight and tomorrow morning. What we do think will happen is some storms developing by, you know, pre-dawn hours, parts of the Panhandle, West Texas, the Permian Basin. That's likely as another wave of upper level lift arrives from the west you can see as we get to 7 a.m plenty of showers and storms the panhandle west texas the permian basin this thing actually tries to develop a complex of storms down in the coastal plain south central texas the southern brazos valley by 7 a.m uh, storms in north and northeast texas again we'll see it's possible 
9 a.m. Oh, this is right. There's going to be a severe storm rolling into the Houston metro on Interstate 10 from the west at 9 a.m. The possibility of storms across portions of central Texas, north Texas, northeast Texas at 9 a.m. Some of those may have hail, gusty winds. Uh, the potential for heavy rain in the panhandle west Texas, the big country. We need that. Here's 11 a.m. I mean, more storms. 1 p.m. Storms in north Texas. Parts of Central Texas, Northeast Texas, a flooding threat, heavy rain. Here you go, 3 p.m. And that's it. So let's just, I'm going to loop this from, let's just go from midnight to noon. Again, you can see all this stuff in Southeast Texas, that may not happen. The model's being overzealous with what's going on there right now. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Jack and Young County in Texas. Yeah, we'll take a look at the Rockmore in a minute. I've got it on my other screen here. I'm keeping an eye on it. Worry not. Um, so, again, it's going to be a loud night, loud morning. Now, hopefully, we'll be able to start dwindling this severe weather threat in a few hours, but we may still have some storms producing hail at 5 a.m. Tuesday. Okay, enough of that. Let's get back to the radar. High-res mode. A radar, that means you. Please and thank you. Okay, we'll just go to this for now. We'll take a look at what's going on in North Texas. Again, there's heavy rain in East Texas. There's nothing severe. Lightning, heavy rain, thunder. There's no big hail, no big wind, no tornado. Uh, we've got severe storm that produced up to ping pong ball size hail now. Uh, about to exit the state. Move over Lake Texoma. At least the western edge is near Dexter. That'll be crossing over highways 32 and 70 east of Marietta and Ardmore, respectively. <clears throat> Moving north. Other storms down in Cook, Grayson counties. Heavy rain, maybe some pea size hail. Dime size, maybe. They're not severe. No tornadoes. No winds over 55 miles an hour. No big time hail. Uh, storm in Parker County. Between Weatherford and Springtown. Small hail, pea size, heavy rain, lightning. Uh, storm in southeastern Jack County, that may have some nickel size hail, that's moving north, and then all these storms back to the west. From near, uh, let's just say Young County, Graham, Throckmorton, northeast of Looters, down to Breckenridge, these are all moving northeast to east. The potential for quarter to golf ball size hail winds 50 to 70 miles an hour. Seen a wind signature with some of these. Specifically, we're keeping a close eye on this storm that is east of Breckenridge. Uh, seen some indications of a low-level circulation now beginning to tighten or intensify. We may be getting close to needing a tornado warning for this. And if that were to occur, the tornado warning would probably include eastern Stevens, western Palo Pinto counties, places around Caddo to Brad. Hail core up towards Ivan. But again, this storm is moving due east now very slowly i turned right which dominant supercells can do let me zoom out get more communities here you can see there's mineral wells uh, this thing turned hard right but it also slowed down quite a bit it's not moving all that fast so as that occurs a new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Palo Pinto and Stevens County in Texas. There's your new severe thunderstorm warning. And again, the potential for hen egg size hail, larger than the size of a golf ball, two inches in diameter. And the potential for damaging winds. Folks, there are not any tornadoes in East Texas or near Shreveport. I mean, I'll go look, but I've been saying for two hours now, it's just pouring rain. But let's go make sure, just in case. Flooding's going to be the main issue out here in East Texas tonight, I think. Northeast Texas. Now here, we'll look at the which way the wind's blowing. Mo no, there's nothing out here that indicates any sort of even organized storms. It's pouring. There's lightning. There's no tornadoes. There's no hail. There's no damaging winds. There's flooding. And flooding's going to be a big issue out there tonight. Back into North Texas. Severe storm now moving to southern Oklahoma from Cook County. 
Grayson County, you've got hail, or small hail, gusty winds, heavy rain. We got storms out here in western North Texas showing hooks now. Boise. Well, I guess the Warner and Forecast system was right. We disintegrated from a mesoscale convective system and went back to supercell mode. Oh, good. Okay, so the strongest of these storms could be producing golf ball to tennis ball size hail. The potential for localized wind gusts over 60 to 65 miles an hour. A non-zero tornado threat. The trolls on YouTube suddenly coming from. Good grief. Yeah, if y'all end up having any sort of tornado worrying issues tonight, don't freak out. Just follow safety procedures. That's going to be the lowest floor, center room. Away from windows, put as many walls between you and the outside as possible. And you can see this storm east of Brackenridge definitely mean. That thing's got attitude. No super well-defined low-level velocity couplet, fortunately. You out of work? As I asked meteorologist Jason Cooley. Okay, we're not going to do that again. Uh, hopefully we don't get a copyright strike for that. Folks in chats, hi, I'm Baldy in Chief. Uh, we got some ground rules here. You got to keep it family friendly. No conspiracy theories. No spouting of religious information. Or you're going to get banned. Put out, or put in timeout and or banned. If I see it, I'll just ban you. No questions asked because I don't have time for that nonsense. We're not doing nonsense tonight. This is meant to be useful. Thank you, Lacey. Yeah, Breckenridge got hard hit by that. Y'all may have more storms later tonight. Yeah, let's not do the music again, bud. Uh, give you a situational update. The MCS that was in Throckmorton County has disintegrated into a supercellular storm mode. Supercell now taking shape in northern Pocker County. We've got a left, or, a left split ish in eastern Jack. Uh, one in eastern Stevens moving to Palo Bento County showing decent mid level mesocyclone. Very impressive structure. So uh, uh, keep an eye on that cell northeast of Weatherford. That may be your bud. Why this suddenly wants to play an ah uh, three hours worth of data? I want a half hour. Thank you. Okay, so here's a loop of the radar. Oh, I see why it's doing that. I've got multiple sources on. Whoops, -a -goofles. So again, you can see we've now got multiple supercell thunderstorms underway across western North Texas. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Throckmorton County in Texas. I don't like that storm in northern Parker County. That's doing some weird things, too, now. Clearly, we've had some sort of upper-level lift arrive uh, because things are getting rowdy. Specifically, that storm west of Jacksboro near uh, German, 
that has the potential to produce baseball size hail wind gust over 75 miles an hour uh we've got a storm that one in northeastern grayson county moving into fanning county that one the potential for small hail gusty winds Breckenridge, you might get more storms later tonight. I'd have a way to receive weather warnings, but for now, the worst is to your northeast. All right. Just up the stream, so it should be showing up on uh, NDI. Another live stream, eh? Well, let us see, let us see. I just have to turn it on. <gasps> we get streams. Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's 11 o'clock, and guess what? We got a full slate of chasers out about this evening. Oh, uh, yeah, I guess we love doing this at 11 o'clock, the day of an eclipse. Who wants sleep? All right, so we've got Storm Chasers, Adam Lucio, Chelsea Burnett, Jenny Brown, Jason Cooley, out and about in western North Texas this evening. What has turned out to be a rather problematic situation in the hail winds, hopefully not spinny spinny doom doom department, uh, things have become much more intense over the last hour. Clearly, whatever sort of upper-level lift we were waiting to arrive has arrived because Stormies have gone angry supercell mode in the last hour. We went from a little complex of storms moving into Throckmorton County to suddenly a cluster of supercells, all capable of producing damaging hail, strong winds, uh, non-zero tornado threat. Fortunately, no tornado issues at the moment, but... Uh, we're going to keep a close eye on things just in case. The hail alone is going to be an issue. We'll switch back over to the high-res mode. Let's keep an eye on it. I'm going to do something here. I want to show you supercells. Supercell. Supercell. Big supercell. Storms that tried to be supercells. And then this thing just got a lot of wind with it. Oh, and supercell, because why not? Again, all these hail, wind. Heavy rain. Now, let's take a look at the which way the wind's blowing mode. Now, unlike earlier, when we were showing you this and there was no differing colors, now we're starting to see some interesting signatures develop. Let me switch back to this radar. It's a bit closer. It'll give us a better look. First off, you can see that storm on Highway 114. That's going to be east to only moving towards essentially Jacksboro. This thing thinks it's moving northeast. It might be moving more east. Take a look. Little pocket of rotation there on 114. Nothing tornadic, but the hail signature is bad. Uh, if you're in Jeremin, this thing's moving due east towards uh, pretty much Jacksboro, Cundiff, Wise County. That could have large hail. Okay, be ready. Jack County. Uh, this thunderstorm <laughs> on 180 is moving east. Probably now at about, what, probably 25 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour. It could have headache size hail. That's two inches in diameter. Uh, damaging straight line winds. And out of curiosity, right there, an area of rotation. Yeah, it's showing a pocket of low level rotation. Okay, noted. I need to get in here and add some. Do that. Okay. I'm looking through here to see what is going through here. Okay, so. A pocket of rotation now east of Breckenridge on 180. We're going to have to keep a close eye on that uh, for areas of rotation. At this point, no tornado warnings, but we're going to watch it. Now, this thing in uh, northeastern Parker County just started throwing out enough lightning to wake half a cemetery. This thing's going to be moving for now northeast. If it intensifies, it's going to turn east. Springtown, you might be getting some small hail. Your guys are getting absolutely annihilated by a lightning barrage right now in Springtown. Uh, we'll look at the wind mode. There's no indication of low-level rotation right now, but the hail threat's increasing. That storm may require a severe thunderstorm warning soon. That would be a threat to northwestern Tarrant, southeastern-wise, Den counties. Uh, up here in Bells, y'all getting heavy rain, uh, small hail. Same thing in Howe. Uh, this storm moving northeast towards uh, Ravina, eventually moving up into southern Oklahoma. Heavy rain. East Texas. We continue to monitor several thunderstorms producing heavy rainfall, gusty winds. Heavy rainfall. 
small hail. These are not severe, showing no indications of becoming severe, no low-level rotation. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Jack, Montague, and Wise County in Texas. Montague, that's called Montague, overgrown computerized buffoon. Yes, I have your chase stream, Jason. You can see Adam and them when they were heading out of uh, Brackenridge earlier. That's hail on the road. That's ice. You got meteorologist Jason Cooley. That's not what I wanted. Why do I have that on that? Hold on a second. I have him on my stream. There we go. There's Jason's stream. They're heading up to intercept these stormies because that's what we all want to do at 11 o'clock at night. Let me go back to that. That's an interesting... What did I do to do that? Hey, Jason, you have a split screen set up on your uh, live stream going, bud? Or did my computer just manage to literally create some sort of a nightmare scenario? I mean, honestly, I'm not that upset by it. It works still, so. All right. Again, this new severe storm warning. All right, we need to turn off these bloody markers. They're not able to keep up with this nonsense. This is going to be a severe thunderstorm warning for a storm northeast of Jacksboro, West Chico. This is going to be a left split moving northeast towards the city of Bowie. Potential for golf ball size hail. Uh, again, a lightning barrage now. Brad Metcalf, Metcalf Gap. Oh, yeah, I don't like that thing near Springtown. That is doing something bad. And lightning department, not spinny spinny doom doom department. Let me be abundantly clear in that regard. Yes, I have your stream. Uh, it's doing some weird split screen thing on my end, but I mean, honestly, it still works. Okay, so again, Bowie, you could have issues with that. Hail, that's going to be an issue on 287 as that storm crosses over. Sunset to Alverd. Further south, that's not what I wanted. Let's talk about this. That storm near Springtown, I think, is about to become a severe thunderstorm, showing increasing amounts of lightning, showing a hail core developing aloft, and showing a bit of an interesting low-level confluence signature, that little hook there. We're going to have to watch it. That could be an issue for Wise Den counties. Thunderstorm in eastern Stevens County, moving into western Palo Pinto County, a mature supercell capable of producing golf ball to tennis ball size hail. All right, Grant, I just fixed it. Okay, thank you. I thought it was on my end. There's been some interesting graphical artifacts this evening with my stuff that I thought I had fixed, but I thought it broke again, but now it's okay. The caffeine's hit. Why are we doing this at 11.30 at night? Say hi to live stream. That's what happens when we've been live since 3 o'clock. Technically, we've been live since, I think, probably 11 with the eclipse, and now we're doing this. <laughs> It's a Monday. All right, TDWR time for that. We're going to make sure we maintain situational awareness. And for what it's worth, going back further west, ladies and gentlemen, we still got a storm over Aspermont like the third time today. This thing could be dropping quarter to ping pong ball size hail. I hope it's not golf balls. That's going to keep moving east, eventually making it to rule by about 12, 10 a.m. Storm southwest of Throckmore and showing a bit of an interesting hail signature, maybe a bit of wind. Intercept near Boyd area and uh, probably go for the hail core first and foremost. Let's sample that, see how large the hail core is, how large those hailstones are. Uh, reflectivity doesn't suggest it's massive, massive, but yeah, we'll, we'll see what's going on. A new on flash there. flood warning has been issued for Smith County in Texas. You're sending that in the everyone chat, by the way. I don't really care, but, um, yeah, it's a weird-looking storm. Big lightning barrage right now. Probably a sculpted updraft. 
All right, we got a new flash flood warning out here in Smith County. That'll be for the city of Tyler, White House, Noonday, etc. Not a surprise there again. They are getting continual heavy rain, more and more heavy rain. Though it looks like it stopped for now. Congratulations, you'll get more storms later into Tuesday. Okay. So again, a conglomeration of... <laughs> Look at all that. Oh, and that's why we can't use the fancy tracks on that. A conglomeration of hailers visiting western north texas uh, we've been saying all day this is what was going to happen late this evening uh this storm here let's just do this this storm east of jacksboro moving northeast this storm west of jacksboro moving east northeast east northeast northeast you confused yet east it's just a, it's a headache ladies and gentlemen it's a headache Yeah, it's showing almost two inch hail core now aloft with the Springtown storm. They're going to need to warn it. So, again, that storm near Springtown. We've been talking about supercells. Congratulations. This is the newest one over Springtown Azel. That's going to be moving for now northeast towards Boyd. 10 4, David. Thank you very much for that information. Uh, we'll be getting into that, sampling it shortly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for what it's worth, yes. Thank you to our great moderators. They've been doing a great job today. They've dealt with some trolls, a lot of questions, which are natural. They get cookies, and by that, they're going to get their own Discord server here sometime this week. Um, yes, if you want to know what's going on near your area, download the free Texas Storm Chasers mobile app. Just search for Texas Storm Chasers where you download apps for your device. If you want to open a web browser and do it, just type in Texas Weather Decimal APP, texasweather.app. It'll take you to the download page for your device. Uh, you can see Jason Cooley. He's moving to intercept this storm near Boyd. Uh, you can see the lightning. That's going to be the supercell in northeastern Parker County. That's going to need a severe thunderstorm warning soon. We've got a supercell in eastern Stevens County moving east at about 30 miles an hour. That could be an issue for the city of Mineral Wells. Currently showing indications of producing golf ball to tennis ball size hail. We have multiple thunderstorms in Young, Jack, Wise counties. There's a severe thunderstorm warning for that. The potential for hail up to the size of golf balls there. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Denton, Parker, and Wise County in Texas. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Clay County in Texas. All right, so new severe thunderstorm warning, uh, Springtown storm, golf ball size hail possible moving northeast towards Boyd, Rome, Newark, Decatur, Crum. Storm, if it does what some of these others have done, it's going to turn more east depending on when that happens. This is going to be an issue for Den County. If it turns right at the missed opportune time, it's going to hit Den. Uh, storm, golf ball size hail, the hail core itself is increasing. And, uh, yeah, we're going to watch it for indications of low-level rotation. There is absolutely nothing that indicates low-level rotation right now. But an outflow boundary just hit it. Uh, some sort of boundary is being ingested by that storm. Uh, the Springtown storm, by the way. I don't know if it's an outflow from earlier or what it is. A gravity wave, but you can see it on radar. Shackleford and Throckmorton County in Texas. Here, what I'm talking about is you know, we may not be able to show it on here. I have the radar sensitivity. Uh, you know what? Forget it. Let's do this. We're going to use the magical Dave cam. Yeah, I mean, there is a marginally sufficient environment Texas for local storm report from five miles north of Bryson in so Jack County, Texas. You know, I realize I this is going to go and measure 2.00 inches. You know, just keep watching Reported the radar by emergency see what it's going if it evolves oh. more tornadic, then I'll go more in tornado chase mode. See that? That boundary right there? This is the Springtown storm. No, y'all can't really tell that from here. I just want to show you that boundary. We look at that. That's some mesoscale meteorology. I'm a little worried that's going to help try to jumpstart a low-level circulation with this. So that's what we're going to have to watch for. 
And if it ends up doing that, well, I'm going to look like a genius, but otherwise it's just something we're watching for. But you always got to watch for stuff like that, boundaries that can add a little low-level stream-wise vorticity and jumpstart our low-level circulation. And again, we're going to watch that real carefully. I'm not saying that means we're going to have a tornado here, but it's just something we watch for when we're dealing with supercellular thunderstorms in environments that could at least conditionally support the possibility of some sort of spinny-spinny doom-doom mischief. But again, let's get back to the wall here here's the latest reflectivity and again that thing definitely has the look of a supercell now uh that is not good uh at least for hail boyd rome prepare for a damaging hail storm this storm moving northeast for now uh if it turns right it's going to be an issue for justin if it keeps on its present course it's going to move towards ponder north lake city of den you're going to have an issue uh, I think this is going to turn right. So those of you in Denton County, heads up the potential for a damaging hailstorm. And I really don't like the fact we have a supercell moving into the Metroplex at 1130 at night. That does not make Baldy and Chief a happy Baldy. All right, real quick. Let me make sure. I'm looking at some experimental data. Now, the good news is some of the high-res experimental data really doesn't pinpoint any sort of tornado potential. But... I mean, it doesn't even show that. Boy, I don't like that. Let's see. I'm going to look at a different product that lets us see what's called hodographs. I just want to see the amount of low-level wind shear in the area using the radar in Benbrook. Okay. I'm going to send a VWP. So yeah, hail threat's increasing. Let's talk about what we've got going on, because we got problems now with severe storms. Uh, Supercell, Springtown, Northern Parker County, moving into southeastern Wise, southwestern Den counties. The potential for golf ball size hail. If intensification continues, the hail threat's going to get even bigger. The potential for damaging straight line winds. Uh, non zero chance this tries to go tornadic in the next hour. We're going to have to watch it closely. Severe thunderstorm, Supercell on Highway 180 on the Palo Pinto Park, excuse me, Palo Pinto Stevens County line. East of Breckenridge on a beeline to impact the city of Mineral Wells, Brad Metcalf. Gap, Palo Pinto, Grayford. That storm could have golf ball to tennis ball size hail. Winds of 60 miles per hour. We've got a number of thunderstorms now in Young Jack Wise counties. The potential for tennis ball size hail. Winds 60 plus miles an hour. Uh, flash flooding. Not a good time to be on 380, 281, etc. 287, the potential for damaging hail between uh, Bellevue, Bowie, Alvord, Decatur, Rome, Newark. Oh, I don't like what this is doing. And then again, this thing in uh, northeastern Parker County, southeastern Wise County is doing things I don't like. Uh, in terms of lightning, it's going nuts. In terms of the hail core, it's intensifying. Uh, golf ball to tennis ball size hail now. And again, we are watching this real carefully for any indication to low-level rotation. The reason being is it's just a Dave feeling. There's no tornado warnings. I don't want to guarantee I don't want you to think I'm thinking this is about to put a tornado down. I don't, but we're watching for signs that, that might be an issue down the road. Regardless, hail, wind, heavy rain. And we've got storm chasers. Meteorologist Jason Cooley's moving to intercept this thing. If this thing starts doing any sort of spinny-spinny doom-doom mischief, we're going to know about it. Because, trust me, that's what we're going to do. All right. Okay, so, all right, let's do this. We're going to switch to Jason. Well, Jason just disappeared off here for a second. Okay, so, let's do this. We're going to take a quick three-minute break because I need to use the little boy's room. I'm going to put a loop on, and then we're going to continue on with this.
We'll talk about our expectations tonight and tomorrow morning. But again, uh, we got problems in western North Texas. We got big hail, wind, non-zero tornado risk, and a lot of, excuse me, a lot of um, rain. Good grief. See, rain. All right, let's go to Jason's cam. I'm going to let you all listen to him for about two to three minutes. I'm going to go visit the little boy's room, and we'll be right back. All right, I'm going to visit the little boy's room real quick. I'm leaving the stream on your stream. I'll be back in like two minutes. Ten four, David O. All right, we're back. You can see that storm in Springtown to Rome is producing almost nonstop lightning. Kit Kat. We've been live since 3 o'clock. Snack time. Not seeing any indications of strong low-level rotation at this point. Definitely seeing indications of hail.
Here's a hint. If you want to crash the program I use, just switch to the super high-res stuff and try to load a two-hour loop. All right. Uh, lightning barraged like crazy right now in southeastern Wise County. Uh, this storm is going rather eccentric. All right, we have a new high-res version of this in yet. I don't think we do. All right. Short, sweet version about what we're expecting the rest of the night. We're going to have severe storm potential continue well into the early morning hours Tuesday across portions of Texoma, North Texas, the big country. Uh, perhaps then by about 5 a.m., new storms developing the Panhandle, West Texas, the Permian Basin. Those will move east. The potential for some of those to feature hail, gusty winds, heavy rain. It's going to rain tomorrow in the Panhandle, West Texas. So we're getting to the day. On Tuesday, the potential for severe weather will continue Tuesday afternoon into Tuesday evening, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning across portions of the Hill Country, South Central Texas, the Edwards Plateau, South Texas, the Coastal Plains, Southeast Texas, the Brazos Valley, East Texas. The potential for some of those severe storms to continue, especially as we get south of Interstate 20. Yeah, I can talk really, really fast when I need to. Isn't it not a nice feature? We'll get a new severe weather outlook. Uh, from the Storm Prediction Center here for tomorrow, Tuesday, about 1 a.m. Tuesday. So we're still going to be here. We'll show it. The Tic Tac tried to choke me. I apologize. All right, let's get back to what we're dealing with. Let's go west to east, make sure we're not missing anything. All right, we got that storm east of Aspermont, maybe some 50-mile-an-hour winds, 60-mile-an-hour winds, quarter-size hail. That storm should be moving off to the east now at about 30 miles an hour, so it's taking 380 towards Rule and Haskell. We got a storm about to cross over Highway 283. I think that's very near Fort Griffin, actually. Nah, I, actually, yeah. Uh, Fort Griffin, passing just north of Fort Griffin, moving towards Woodson. There could be some quarter size hail with that storm. Storms in Young County, a big old cluster, heavy rain, small hail, gusty winds. Storm in Jack County showing a bit of a rear end flow jet signature. That's that little Bowie feature north of Jacksboro. Could be some quarter size hail with that, at least the potential for strong winds as well. Supercell thunderstorm currently on Highway 180. At about where you see Highway 16 split off the northeast, the potential for golf ball size hail, Possum Kingdom Lake. In the next 5 to 15 minutes, the storm moving east at oh, 20 to 30 miles an hour. This could be an issue for the city of Mineral Wells by 12.30 a.m., if not sooner, as it rides Highway 180 east. And it's probably not going to die. Uh, let's make sure we're not missing anything else. We're going to talk about this guy here in a minute. I don't like it. Okay, a couple severe storms south, southeast Oklahoma. We got a storm in Bonham. That's not severe, just some rain, small hail, gusty winds, lightning all the way from Collinsville, Sherman, Howe, Aubrey, Melissa McKenney, nothing severe, lightning, brief heavy rain, gusty winds. Same with the storm near Bonham, maybe sometimes size hail around Bonham. That storm moving to the northeast, that'll cross towards Hugo, Oklahoma. Paris, Lamar County, we've got a storm southwest of Paris. That'll move northeast, bring some heavy rain to Paris, maybe a quick tenth to a quarter inch of rainfall, moving off to the northeast, about 35 miles an hour. Potential for some heavy rain with that gusty wind, small hail. East Texas, we have multiple flash flood warnings in effect. A nice flash flood warning for Tyler. And then, but the rain's ended in Tyler for now. We're going to have more rain in the morning. The Heavy rain continues across portions of oh, eastbound Longview, Kilgore, Marshall, uh, uh, Lake Port, Wascom, over to Greenwood, and Treeport, Louisiana. Flash flood warning continues there. Uh, be mindful of flooded roadways tonight. Uh, same thing goes all the way down Highway 59, Carthage, Tipson, Logansport. Again, nothing severe with the activity at this time, just a lot of heavy rain. Okay, back to the Metroplex. A severe thunderstorm capable, capable of producing ping pong ball size hail over Boyd, Aurora, Newark. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Haskell County in Texas. Okay, now let's do this. Jason, you can actually see if we switch to Meteorologist Jason Cooley's cam, he's got some uh, rain and hail. 
Where is he located? He's probably located at Void de Rome. You can see some hail falling there, bouncing off the uh, pavement. You can see it's in there on the ground. Again, looks like at least dime size hail there. We'll get a report from him in a minute just to see how big that hail becomes. But otherwise, we'll go back to the feed here. A severe thunderstorm current, currently over southeastern Wise County, Aurora. <coughs> to Boyd, moving northeast at about 30 miles an hour. We'll put a storm track on this, get some timing on it. This storm, eh, you know what, let's do this because I don't like how long it does that. Let's make sure we don't do this. Let's do this. Okay, moving northeast. I'm going to do like this. Uh, ponder. About 11.45, Crum, about 11.55, North Lake, about 11. Yeah, that's exactly. In fact, I might need to draw it even further right. Sorry, I'm making sure this is... Now nah, that'll be okay. Uh, Sainer, about 12.05, the city of Den, midnight. Krugerville, about 12.15. Aubrey, about 12.15. Pilot Point, about 12.25. New Hope, about 12.15. Argyle, about 11.55. North Lake, about 11.45. Justin, if it doesn't stay to your northwest, about 11.45. Again, this storm is putting out a considerable amount of lightning. So, uh, most folks are going to know there's a storm nearby because this thing's throwing a temper tantrum in the lightning department. The potential for ping pong ball to golf ball size hail, strong winds, heavy rainfall. Yes, no indications of strong low-level rotation at this time, no tornado issues. We're watching things, but at this point, no spinny, spinny, doom, doom issues. I'm just looking to see when our next high-res rapid refresh run comes out. Well, it just came out. Let's see if it's on this, and if it is, we'll show you what's going on tonight. It's not out on here yet. It'll probably be out on here sooner rather than later. All right, let me load this. We'll make sure we're good to go there. I'll put the loop back on so y'all can at least get an idea of the motion of these things. I really don't know why it's trying to do that. Oh, because I actually told it to. Oops. Well, at least it did what I told it to do. There we go. Here's a loop over the last hour. You can see what we've been dealing with. Starting to quiet down a bit in East Texas. Clearly, we're not quieting down at all in Western North Texas. And this nonsense is going to be progressing into the DFW Metroplex over the next, well, for Denton County, 20 minutes. Rest of the Metroplex, uh, let's say probably by 1230 to 1.30. Oh, you know what would be nice? Oh, there it is. Be nice if my phone wouldn't crash for one, but that might be too optimistic on my part. It's Monday for another 26 minutes. Jason, are you trying to get hit by lightning? I look up and I just see Jason's camera full of lightning. Needs a stop. Okay, just got a report of uh, baseball size hail south of Boyd. A report of baseball size hail two miles south of Boyd uh, via the public. So we'll see if that's a verifiable report. Uh, but if it is, clearly this supercell has gone into the Ouchies department for hail. In which case, Texas a local storm report from two miles south of Boyd in Wise County, so. Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 3.00 inches. Uh oh. Reported by public. Additional information report from Ping, T Cup, 3.00 inches. Okay, so you want a baseball size hail? Well, you didn't want it, but you got it.
Okay, so again, that was a three-inch diameter hail report, three miles south of the city of Boyd, from five minutes ago. We'll pause the radar. So again, uh, it goes to show, I guess we were right, this thunderstorm has produced hail larger than the size of baseballs three miles south of Boyd. Now, the Weather Service updates their warning to include that they're going to set off the wireless emergency alert system, and a lot of phones are going to be going yippity, 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 yippity. <laughs> but we'll see. The hail core is looking a little weaker now than it was five minutes ago. Aloft, which is good, but this is still quite an intense storm. Uh, it's storming in Decatur. You might actually be getting some small hail in Decatur right now. A secondary core has developed. Y'all getting bashed by heavy rain and lightning. You've still got the storms coming in from the west. Uh, we got a supercell down here in western Palo Pinto County that honestly is showing a similar signature to the Boyd storm, which means this one probably is capable of producing baseball size hail as well, moving east at about 30 miles an hour. So again, those of you in Mineral Wells, you've got a little time, but a severe storm capable of producing golf ball to baseball size hail will be arriving in Mineral Wells at 15, or excuse me, at 1215 a.m. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to go ahead and talk like this, since my voice is starting to be a bit of a troll. So again, we have multiple severe thunderstorms underway late this evening. A severe thunderstorm capable of producing quarter to golf ball size hail now moving into the city of Jacksboro. We have storms capable of producing quarter to golf ball size hail extending northeast to Bellevue and Bowie. These storms are also capable of producing strong wind gusts. They're moving off to the east northeast at about 30 to 35 miles an hour. The supercell currently located west of Mineral Wells is moving east towards the city of Mineral Wells at 30 miles an hour. It's currently about 16 to 17 miles west of Mineral Wells. Thus, it'll make it into Mineral Wells at about 1215-ish. Capable of producing golf ball to tennis ball size hail, maybe baseballs, I really hope not. A supercell thunderstorm is located over southeastern Wise County. This thunderstorm has a history of producing hail larger than the size of a baseball three miles south of Boyd at 11.30 p.m. This thunderstorm is moving northeast at 30 miles an hour and could pose a direct threat to Crum, Ponder, Denton, Saner. Present trajectory, this would be into Crum at 12.03 a.m. The city of Den, about the same time. Saner, about 12.15 a.m. So again, ponder 1150 to 1155, Crum 12 to 1205, Sanger 1215, Pilot Point 1230, City of Denton. It is worth noting if this turns a little more right, will be a direct threat to the City of Denton with damaging hail. We're keeping a close eye on Jason Cooley's live stream. You can see it's pouring rain. He's dealing with those adverse conditions. Would expect a new severe thunderstorm warning to be issued soon for portions of Wise and Denton counties. Drink a little bit of water. All right, those asking it's already in Crum. Yeah, you're getting rain in Crum right now, but the hail core is still to your southwest. Although it's worth knowing the hail core is trying to reorganize a bit further south. If that's the case, this may be more of a Denton issue. Yeah, and we're watching live storm chasing video from meteorologist Jason Cooley. Adam Lucio, Chelsea Burnett, Jenny Brown are also out and about. They're on the Mineral Wells storm. At this point, we have no indications of strong low-level wind shear. What I'm going to do, though, is actually I'm going to see if I can turn these lights down just a little. I mean, honestly, it kind of looks like I can, so let's see if I'm blessed enough to be able to do that.
still see me? Ah, y'all can still see me. I mean, it helps when you have 10 computer monitors lighting up your office. Okay. That is a lot easier on the eyes, that's for sure. Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. It's 11.41 p.m. on this, the 8th of April, 2024. A supercell capable and with a history of producing baseball size hail, technically a bit larger than baseballs near Boyd, is moving northeast at about 30 miles an hour. This storm may bring damaging hail to western portions of Denton County over the next 20 to 30 minutes. Southwest, a supercell capable of producing golf ball to baseball size hail will be arriving in the city of Mineral Wells by 1210 to 1215 a.m. This thunderstorm is also moving east at about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Heavy thunderstorms, although less intense, are currently located in Young County, around Graham, Jack County, Jacksboro, northeast in two portions of Clay and Montague counties, up to Bellevue and Bowie. These thunderstorms could have strong winds over 60 miles an hour. The potential for damaging straight line winds over 60 miles an hour, quarter to golf ball size hail, heavy rainfall. Now, I want to point out two features that we're watching closely with both of these storms. Those of you who have dealt with us before, or dealt with Texas weather, probably know what we're talking about. Hook echo. Hook echo. Now, just because thunderstorms show indications of hook echoes does not mean a tornado. We're going to switch over to the Doppler portion of Doppler radar. In this case, the which way the wind's blowing mode. Now, in this case, you can see both these storms do have a little bit of mid-level rotation, but nothing that screams spinny spinny doom doom issues. These storms are rotating like a top aloft. These are well-organized supercells, but the low-level conditions are not necessarily favorable for tornado genesis. Is the risk zero? No. Are we going to be watching it quite carefully? Oh yes. But again, that's just an indication that we have issues with organized supercells. And again, you can see based on the latest scan how the storm in southeastern Wise County has evolved. Uh, it's almost building further south. Yeah, I really think it is. I think this is going to be an issue for the city of Denton versus the uh, Sanger. It's probably for the city of Denton. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Jack, Montague, and Wise County in Texas. Montague. It's Montague. You're overgrown AI garbage. Uh, okay, so for the line of storms from Bellevue to Jacksboro, severe storms located along the line extending from 6 miles east of Bellevue to 7 miles southeast of Newport to near Fort Richardson State Park, moving east at about 25 miles an hour. The potential for ping pong ball size hail, wind gust of 60 miles an hour. This warning includes Decatur, Bridgeport, Bowie, Jacksboro, Albert, St. Joe, Chico, Paradise, Fort Richardson State Park, Sunset, Lake Allingman, G. Carter, Newport, Runaway, Bay Lake, Bridgeport, Montague, Cundiff, Lost Creek Reservoir, Park Springs, Crafton, and Joplin. Again, this is for portions of Jack Wise, Monte counties until 12.45 a.m. Tuesday. All right, further west. By the way, this thing moving towards Mineral Wells could have golf ball to baseball size hail, arriving at Mineral Wells by 12.10. Graham, storm, not looking super scary, but definitely maybe some quarter size hail. Uh, we got storms from Aspermont to Rural to Rochester, the potential for golf ball size hail. Strom winds, uh, those moving east as well. East Texas, calming down. No severe weather is ongoing. We've got rain. Nothing tornadic, nothing haily, nothing super duper windy. Further west, different story. You've got, we've got storms out here. Make sure I'm not missing anything. We got some showers in western Oklahoma. We got some showers in the eastern Texas panhandle. Otherwise, our main show and main issue remains these thunderstorms in portions of north central Texas. It is 11.45 p.m. on this, the 8th of April, 2024. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer, along with Storm Chasers Adam Lucio, Chelsea Burnett, Jason Cooley, 
Jenny Brown, monitoring a cluster of supercells now encroaching on the DFW Metroplex and Interstate 35. Supercell number one located in eastern Wise, western Denton County, moving east northeast at 30 to 35 miles an hour. The potential for golf ball to baseball size hail. This storm has a history of producing three inch diameter hail south of the city of Boyd at 11:30 p.m. Three inch diameter size hail is teacup that is larger than a baseball. Moving it towards Ponder, just in Denton. I think it's moving a little more to the uh, east northeast versus northeast. So that is why this is going to be an Texas issue. Local storm report from six miles north of Rome in Wise County, Texas. Hail magnitude estimated 2.00 inches. Reported by public. Additional information report from Ping, Hen Egg. 2.00 inches. Well, that was the same storm. It continues to produce large damaging hail. Uh, storm west of Mineral Wells moving due east. This is going to be bring pretty nasty size hail to Mineral Wells. We're saying 1210. It may be a few minutes later, but at this point, uh, rather be safe than sorry. Again, the potential for nasty size hail in. Wichita, or excuse me, in Mineral Wells by 12.10 a.m. Okay, what else do we got going on? Oh yeah, the new HER should be in. Quickly, let's take a look at what the latest high re rapid refresh model shows for the remainder of the night into Tuesday morning. At this point, we're almost into Tuesday morning. Uh, let's go ahead and see. And again, we're going to have more storms on Tuesday and Wednesday because it's a Monday. The mineral well storm is trying to wrap up a bit, isn't it? We'll take a look at that in a moment. All right, so let's switch some buttons here. We're going to take a look at the high res rapid refresh model quickly. First thing we're going to do is seeing how it's handling the current situation. So this is midnight. Uh, I mean, again, we have no storms in southeast Texas. No storms in the Brazos Valley. None of that. So here's what we're going to do. Exit. Stuff up here it's doing okay with. So let's see what it has at 2. Okay, storm still in North Texas, Texoma, Northeast Texas, some of which are probably going to be severe. Hail, flash flooding, gusty winds. Yeah, the way that hook just kind of swung swung in, I, we're seeing an RFD surge here on this storm. Now, uh, you know, not super duper impressed with velocity, but uh, this supercell storm is certainly trying to get its act together as it heads toward Crum and western Denton. That was meteorologist Jason Cooley talking about the storm in western Denton, eastern Wise counties. All right, uh, 4 a.m., it's still storm in Texoma, northeast Texas, though at this point, hopefully we'll just have rain, maybe some small hail, hopefully nothing that is too bad. Notice it does try to fire up storms south central Texas, southeast Texas. We're going to have to see if that actually happens. Uh, things are storms now, there's not a thing. 6 a.m., this stuff in west Texas, yes, that is likely to develop and start moving east. Permian Basin, west Texas, Panhandle, some of those storms could have small hail, gusty winds. Here's 8 a.m. Now, notice... This has a pretty nasty storm east of San Antonio. That may be something we have to watch for. In addition, we're going to have to watch for some of these storms to reinvigorate themselves, Central Texas into East Texas. Here's 10 a.m., 11 a.m., noon. So the key message here is it's going to be wet at least tomorrow morning through tomorrow afternoon at northern half of the state. Severe weather potential farther south, we're going to have to wait and see, but I'd bet on it. All right, so with that being said, let's get back to what we're dealing with, and that's right now. All right, here's the real-time radar. We do not need satellite data. Let's turn on the radar, make sure we've got the warnings on. Here's what we're dealing with. Turn off the marker that lets me draw like a toddler. Here you go. All those hail icons are reports uh, relevant at the moment. Yeah, he's right. We got an RFD surge. That just means we're getting a surge of uh, winds coming down the rear flank of the thunderstorm. Doesn't mean we have a tornado issue. It just means we're getting some good wind. 
And again, you can see we've got storms galore. It's common down in northeast Texas, east Texas, uh, Texoma, north Texas. No, it, it, no, we got we got hailers at midnight. It don't matter. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Cook, Denton, and Wise County in Texas. Okay, so this storm's turning right. So this storm's now moving more to the east at 40 miles an hour. The potential for golf ball size hail winds of 60 plus miles an hour. This severe thunderstorm warning includes Frisco, Den, Louisville, Flower Mound, the Colony, Corinth, Highland Village, Lake Dallas, St. Or Lake Louisville, Little Elm, Prosper, Salina, Crown Point, Pilot Point, Argyle, Hickory Creek, Justin, Double Oak, and Shady Shores. It includes Interstate 35 between mile marker 453 and 489. It includes 35W between 71 and 85. This storm does have a history of producing very unhappy size hail. Yeah, that is... And let me... Here, let me see if I can get... Show you what Cooley's talking about. Meteorologist Jason Cooley. Uh, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch to this radar. What he means is by the rear flank downdraft swinging around. He's also talking about the hook echo. This is off the terminal Doppler weather radar. Storm looks less intense from this because the radar beam's not as intense. Oh, good. We just got our own MD. Great. Uh, this is the hook. It's starting to wrap around. If it were to wrap around completely, we might have an issue with low-level circulation. But at this point, we just got a lot of wind coming down on the backside of this thunderstorm along Highway 114, east of Aurora, southwest of Justin. That being said, we're going to have to watch it closely. Hail remains the biggest issue. Ponder to Justin to Argyle, the city of Den. Potential for golf ball size hail with this thunderstorm as it moves to the east-northeast at about 30 to 40 miles an hour. Uh, we'll switch back to the Fort Worth next rad. We'll put a storm track on this again. Come on, Radar. Thank you very much. Again, you can see here's what it looks like there. Storm moving to the east-northeast at about 40 miles an hour towards Denton, New Hope, Albury, Pilot Point, Little Elm, Corinth, Argyle. Uh, yeah, it's about to get loud. Now, let's get back down here to Mineral Wells. Uh, Fort Worth radar might actually be closest to this now. We'll just keep using it. This thunderstorm be in Mineral Wells by 12 to 1210. And there's your new severe storm warning. We'll let the blabbing AI make its happy noise. I might just change that to a goat a new sound. Severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Palo Pinto and Parker County in Texas. Okay, so there's that severe storm moving east to Mineral Wells. Hail Core will be in Mineral Wells by probably 10, 1210 to 1215. Potential for golf ball to tennis ball size hail winds to 60. Broad rotation, nothing that screams spinny, spinny, doom, doom mischief at this time. Uh, and then we have this cluster of storms from Nakona to Bowie all the way to the east side of Jacksboro. Pockets of nickel to quarter to golf ball size hail moving east at about 30 to f miles an hour. Uh, the potential for winds 50 to 60 miles an hour. That ponder storm, uh, uh, what did they do? Did the radar beam change or? Well, the good news is the ponder storm is starting to lose its hail core. It's not losing its echo tops, but it's losing its hail core. Ish. Doing there, we got any sort of uh... okay. So again, yeah, we did. Well, we got hailers. We got heavy rain on Highway 82 from Whitesboro to Sherman to Bells to Bonham to Paris. All that generally moving northeast could have some street flooding. We note winds are back to become southeasterly in the DFW Metroplex, helping to enhance low-level wind shear, though clearly the storms don't really care that much. I recognize that. Mr. Cooley's at 114 and 35W.
Lightning strike hit a power pole near Graham. Well, that's unfortunate. And fortunately, lightning's lit a few houses on fire out in this area, too. Oh, okay. Let's see. Yeah, again, a pretty good wind indication now for straight line winds uh, around Newport, down towards Cundiff, northeast of Jacksboro. I'm glad Jason's getting to enjoy that abhorrent traffic light at 114 and 35 W. w. Den, you're going to be getting some wind. Heavy rain, maybe some hail here in the next 15 minutes. Looks like we are probably going to see a severe weather watch issued for portions of the Permian Basin in the next couple of hours. Uh, looks like we may start to see some storms fire out that way over the next few hours. There's not a thing out there right now, but we're going to be watching for it. There are no tornado warnings in the state of Texas. We had one tornado warning today, and that was out near New Waverly in southeast Texas at about 3.30 p.m. Central Time. There's not a thing right now. We got severe storms capable of producing hail. Quarter of golf ball size hail, maybe a little larger with that storm west of Mineral Wells. That's about to say hello to Mineral Wells. We got some storms producing winds over 50 to 60 miles an hour, especially the storms from near Bowie to east of Jacksboro, moving towards Runaway Bay. And we're also watching these storms produce heavy rain. We've got flash flooding in East Texas from Tyler to Kilgore to Longview to Marshall to Wascom to Shreveport, Louisiana. Probably up and down 59. And yeah, those of you in Den, you could have some hail in the next 15 to 30 minutes. Storm that that's about to hit y'all produced baseball size hail around Boyd, but it's looking weaker now. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Haskell County in Texas. Why stop with the storms? Oh, goody, 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 it's Haskell. A uh, supercell's on 380 again from Rochester to Rural. That storm could have golf ball size hail as it moves east at, I'm going to assume, 30 miles an hour. Uh, it's going to be in Rural here in the next few minutes. Thereafter, it'll be moving into Haskell probably by 12, oh, yeah, by 1230. Weinart, same thing, 1220 to 1230. The potential for golf ball size hail wins to 60. Storm in Den County has turned into a blob, which is good because it'll keep the hail sizes hopefully not in the baseball range, but hopefully towards the quarters. Uh, heavy rain may start cause some flash flooding, though. We're back to the 70s. Yippity, 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 yay. Most intense storm now. It does appear to be this one. Uh, Possum Kingdom Lake down towards Palo Pinto, moving east towards Mineral Wells and Salesville. Uh, this will be bringing hail possibly to mineral wells within the next 10 to 20 minutes. Strong winds, heavy rain as well. A lot of cloud to ground lightning. By the way, thank you to all those who have been sending likes or liking the videos on YouTube and the subscribe buttons. We've now been live, minus brief technical difficulties, since 3 p.m. So what, nine hours? Wow. Wow. It's a long day. Is the hook still problematic? Well, the good news is that hook is not as problematic. The storm itself is looking less organized. That's not what I wanted to show you. So here, we'll just take a look. See, yeah, there's a little bit of rotation. There's nothing that's strong. But a little bit of rotation. 
uh, west of Justin. Nothing that really worries me too much right now. Especially given the fact the storm itself seems to be weakening. For the moment. Definitely the potential we could see some strong winds. Heavy rain. Quarter size hail, maybe a bit larger in Ponder to Crumb to Slidell. A lot of heavy rain. 35 is probably going to flood around Saner because, well, one, construction. Two, it's Saner. No tornado warnings. The overall tornado threat for the night remains low to very low. We just got a lot of heavy rain, wind, and hail. Storm out by Grayford. That'll be moving east into Mineral Wells in the next 10 to 15 minutes. The potential for quarter to golf ball size hail, winds of 60 miles an hour, potential for heavy rainfall. All right. Well, again, you can see we got storms galore. Here, I'll switch to this button. At least let us see what we've got going on over the last hour. You can see storm motions. Definitely, we're seeing more storms now moving east versus north. No indications of problems in the low levels. Spinny Spinny Doom Doom Texas Department. Texas local storm report from Breckenridge in Stevens County, Texas. Hail magnitude measured 2.00 inches. Reported by public. Yay, hail. To those who have nothing better to do and to where we have no severe weather mischief, go to bed. Would be my recommendation of the day. I wish I could go to bed. I don't get to go to bed, though. But that's okay. We're here with you and giving you severe weather updates. All right. Yeah, east, northeast, and again, for what it's worth, way out here, guess what? You all have the chance for severe storms in the next three to five hours. And some of those could have golf ball size hail and strong winds and heavy rain. You all may end up under a severe thunderstorm watch in a few hours. And again, that's portions of West Texas, the Permian Basin, pretty much Brownfield to Fort Stockton. O'Donnell to Big Spring to Midland to Odessa to Big Lake, the Western Concho Valley. Yay! Okay, a little Palopino storm. Hello, how are you doing this evening? You do have a little interesting look to you now. Well, the good news is this storm in Denton County is kind of looking more like dookie, doo doo, garbage, trash. That's a very meteorologically descriptive term, I know, but alas, that's what it is. That means the hail core is decreasing, which hopefully means we're going to be done with the severe weather warning for it soon. But heavy rain, time to quarter size hail, wind 60 still, flooding's going to be an issue, and we got more storms coming in from the west. And we got a little soupy cell. This soupy cell is on Highway 180 over the community of Palo Pinto. Moving east, it's about 11 miles west of Mineral Wells. It's going to be moving into Mineral Wells in the next 10 to 15 to 20 minutes. The potential for winds of 60, maybe some quarter to golf ball size hail. Honestly, the hail may be a little bigger. What I'm looking at here is just a little area spin in the mid-levels. This isn't anything, you know, spooky dooky, but it does show we have a well-organized supercell. Uh, no, the dry line is still in West Texas. The dry line here, uh, you want to know where the dry line is. Um, anyway, this area of mid-level rotation, we're watching it. It's nothing that screams spinny, spinny, doom, doom, mischief. Uh, mid-level moisture, or excuse me, the dry line. Uh, well, here, I'm going to turn surface dew points on. I'm not going to change the upper third, do all that. Uh, dry line. Yeah, even though the dry line in terms of surface moisture is like San Angelo to Wichita Falls, uh, it's moving west, so yeah, that's why there's going to be more storms out west later. All right, back to the radar. What time is it? It's time to get a watch.
All right. You think the Greyford Storm's going to move towards Springtown? Uh, yes, probably. It'll probably make it there, too. So Springtown, Azel, you'll get more storms again. So y'all will have something to do here in a bit, most likely. But hopefully it'll weaken. It's not a guarantee it's going to weaken, though. Okay, you can see Jason's live stream. Let's see, where is Mr. Jason? He's in Den. How the heck did he end up all the way in Den? Okay, so, I mean, the good news is for him, uh, once he's done with that storm, if it continues weakening, all he has to do is go back down 35W and let the storm coming in from Mineral Wells say hello. Who wants sleep anyway? You can see we are starting to see some scattered showers pop up further east. Switch back over to the radar I can loop without this thing crashing and burning down in a blaze of glory. Oh, look, a psalm. There you go. Merry Christmas. That's a good way to start off a Tuesday. Jason, don't get struck by lightning. He's probably got this on in his car, too. Probably like, shut up, David. I've been talking to myself for nine hours. What do you expect? All right, you can see we're starting to see a few showers develop across Dallas, Collin, Hunt, Rockwalt, Kaufman counties. Nothing severe with that. It's just rain. We'll keep an eye on it, though. You can see all the rain that was over East Texas, Northeast Texas has otherwise dissipated, thus allowing the threat of flash flooding to chill for a while. We're probably going to have more rain moving in later, though, so... Uh, those flash flooding concerns may be exacerbated once again. You can see Storm and Den County has lost a lot of its supercellular. Jason, stop getting struck by lightning. Supercellular characteristics is now a blob. Shooting out lightning, shooting out heavy rain, wind. The potential for nickel to quarter size hail in spots, but the hail threat really is coming down quickly with this storm. Uh, it's going to be gusty winds, heavy rain, a lot of lightning, which is probably going to try to set some houses on fire, and otherwise flooding, street flooding. So the hail threat for Denton County coming down real quick. We're going to have to see what these storms further west do, though, as they move east. They may have some small hail, gusty winds. All right, let's take a look at the Mineral Wells storm. Let's just take a look further west. You can see Haskell, congratulations for like the umpteenth time tonight. You get the chance for more storms. Congratulations. I'm sure you're absolutely thrilled. You can see that storm near Rural. That's a supercell. Come on. Come on. Yeah, come on. Open the door. I'm proud of you, Aspen. Yeah, come on. And you scared yourself opening the door, you derp. Hi. You feel better? You're just going to lay there like a good girl? Are you trying to eat my snacks? If you do that, I'm dropping water on you. And you're just leaving. <sighs> Sad. Anyway, you can see Haskell. You're probably getting more quarter size hail at least in the next 30 minutes. Same thing with this storm over rural. Moving towards Haskell, we'll put a tracker on it. Uh, it'll be crossing 277 in the next 30 minutes around 12.30 a.m. The potential for quarter to ping pong ball size hail localized winds over 50 miles an hour. And then the supercell moving on into mineral wells, which itself is starting to look a wee bit weaker now, fortunately. Happily. Uh, still, the potential for some quarter to ping pong ball size hail, strong winds, but this may end up being a lot of heavy rain versus hail, which means hopefully, maybe, the fact it's, you know, 12 10 in the stink of morning means we can start chilling out uh did someone just report two inch hail <laughs> back to this well apparently this is producing golf ball to tennis ball size hail someone just reported two inch diameter size hail in rural which means those of you in haskell to wine art say hello to the elevated supercell moving east at about 30 miles an hour the potential for golf ball to tennis ball size hail as it crosses over highway 277 around 12 30 a.m between haskell and why not all right mineral wells you get a storm it's gonna have rain it's gonna have probably at least small hail maybe quarter to ping pong ball size hail you're gonna get some wind it's gonna be loud it's gonna be proud there's gonna be lightning and then you can go back to sleep. Den County, it's storming. It's raining. It's pouring. 
I wish I was snoring, but alas, I'm not. We've got a storm. It's weakened pretty substantially now. A lot of heavy rain, cloud to ground lightning, the potential for maybe some dime to quarter size hail. The baseball size hail's gone. Uh, the, that hail core is more gone than my hairline. Uh, the storm still moving northeast at about 30. No low-level rotation, not even seeing a big wind signature, just a lot of heavy rain, lightning, small hail to quarter size hail. I guess I can turn the lightning layer back on here and we can see exactly what's going on. Well, the new severe weather outlook out for Tuesday here in about 50 minutes, meaning we get to do this all over again later, meaning maybe I get to take a nap at some point. Downful. All right. Where's the lightning button? Do 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 do. Sun desire to watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and that's what happens when you're here for ten hours. Sad. Lightning. So you can see, lightning is frightening, and there's plenty of it in Denton County, Wise County. Some of this activity out east, not seeing any lightning yet in Dallas, Collin, Hunt, Rockwall counties. Storms along 82, producing plenty of cloud-to-ground lightning from Gainesville to Whitesboro to Sadler to Sherman to Denison to Bells to Bonham to Honey Grove to Paris, all moving towards, well, Highway 70 in southern Oklahoma. Back west, <laughs> these storms in western North Texas, from Nakona to Bowie to Runaway Bay to Grayford to Mineral Wells, uh, yeah, they're lighting up the sky. You can just pretend it's May right now and pretend it's a summer night. These storms moving east, about 30 miles an hour, the potential for, at times, quarter to golf ball size hail, but mostly quarter to ping pongs at this point. Gusty winds, heavy rain... And a lot of cloud to ground lightning. That's probably going to do its best to try to set your roof on fire. Uh, again, moving east. Most imminent threat for hail. Mineral wells in the next 10 minutes. Further west. Storm that just produced apparently 2-inch diameter size hail in rural. Moving east towards Highway 277. It may stay just north of Haskell. Maybe an issue for Weinart there on 277. Uh, for like the 15 people that live north of Haskell to south of Weinart, east of Highway 6. Good morning. Uh, say hi to the hail. And then a storm again west of that that looks like it's trying to also throw out at least quarter size hail. May say hello to Roll to Rochester again because it's hailing. Okay, so back to the Metroplex. We're going to let the magical super duper radar blooper loop. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm going downhill clearly. Might almost be time to let meteorologist Jason Cooley stream play for a few minutes while I go jump in a ice cold pool or something. All right. We're going to let this loop. Are you trying to do a three hour loop? A three hour tour. Sorry. Why are we doing that? Please stop. Okay, here we go. So here's the radar over the last 30 minutes. You can see what we have going on. We got blobs. Stormy blobs. The supercell moving into Denton County is no longer a supercell. It's just a big old blob of rain, small hail, gusty winds. That severe thunderstorm warning can go bye-bye soon. Storm west of Mineral Wells. It's still a supercell, but it's less organized than it was. Hopefully meaning we get to all go to bed soon. So again, really the, I mean, outside of the hailstorms that keep redeveloping between Rule and Haskell to make me wish I had a mallet to hit my head with. <laughs> Wait, I do. Don't do that. 
Those are producing golf ball size hail, moving east, just trying to hit Rule and Haskell over and over again with hail. We've got, that actually kind of hurt, ouch. Uh, we've got a storm over Palo Pinto, now about seven miles west of, what the? Are you okay, Caesars? Why are you sneezing? You scared me. We don't want to have to clean up any accidents. About seven miles west of Mineral Wells, moving east at oh, 30 miles an hour. The storm itself is looking less organized than it was, which is good because it means I might get to take a nap soon. But again, we got plenty of showers and storms. Still some quarter size hail with the storm west of Mineral Wells, moving east. Mineral Wells, it'll be in town the next 10 minutes probably. It slowed down a little. Otherwise, again, uh, storms from Eastern Jack, Montague down to Wise County, the potential for small hail heavy rain we could actually see some pretty decent winds uh we'll stop the loop loop de loop de you can see we are detecting some stronger winds around buoy bowie could have winds 50 60 miles an hour on the leading edge of this line we do note a little hail core popping up with some storms in far eastern Montague County. That would be around Montague to St. Joe, moving up towards Montague and St. Joe at least. That'd make their way into western Cook County. The storm in Den County, yeah, that, that thing's more done than my hairline. That severe storm warning can go bye-bye. There's no more big hail with that. It's done. Are we completely done? I don't know. If you have a storm fire up to your west and come in with hail, you'd have hail. But at this point, you don't get big hail. Tornado threat's very low at this point, honestly. Uh, we're probably going to get by without issues, but I'm not going to guarantee that because that would entice Mother Nature to throw a tantrum, and then I'd be back here doing tornado coverage at 3 in the morning, which would really make me an unhappy baldy in chief I'm already kind of unhappy as it is. I'm surprised my voice hasn't given out, but at this point, that's what the acetaminophen's for, which, thinking about it, probably means I'm due to take another one of those soon, but I could also just have a throw lodge into. Darn it, Heather. Throat lodgings instead. In fact, y'all probably didn't even hear the uh, smashing sound on the wood floor. Noise canceling for the win. I don't think they're going to be reforming into supercells, but we could have strong to severe storms with at least pocket change size hail in portions of Texoma and North Texas through several hours from now. Uh, we could have more storms coming in from the west. Do I necessarily think we're going to have baseballs again? I really hope not, but heavy rain, maybe some pocket change size hail, gusty winds, yes. I'm honestly surprised half of you haven't turned this into a drinking game yet. Every time he says something, insert word, drink. Oh. I guess I can let this loop again. Yeah, and you can see Jason Cooley. I think he's going back south on 35W. Or is he in Argyle? Yeah, he's going back south again. Poor Jason. Yeah, he's had a long day. He provided the Eclipse video stream this morning, or yesterday morning, early afternoon. That was all his work, and he excelled greatly at it. It made me very happy and proud. Then he worked a evening shift at his establishment, and now he's out storm chasing. Boy, I don't know how he still has hair. Clearly, he's taking better care of himself than me, because that boy doesn't know how to not work. All right. Pretty good lightning surge now. Lightning surge, uh, a lot of lightning popping up. East of Mineral Wells, or around Mineral Wells, we'll turn that back on. You can see that storm's quite electrical. All these storms are electrical tonight. This looks like that Mineral Wells storm. Oh, it did, it ate a storm, great. Mineral Wells storm just ingested a storm, which may allow it to s pulse up a bit. But again, we could have some quarter, maybe ping pong ball size hail. Winds up to 60 miles an hour. We're not talking about baseballs anymore. We're talking about, you know, modestly severe storms. 
Again, I'm just going to let this loop over 30 minutes so you can see. Storms of Den County, it's a big blob with heavy rain. Storms in Wise County, it's a big blob with heavy rain. Maybe some strong winds, though, from Sunset, Fruitland, Bowie, Bowie, down to Fruitland, moving east. Maybe some small hail southeast of Montague, moving towards St. Joe. Otherwise, uh, really the only couple severe storms we have. One, five miles west of Mineral Wells. One, on Highway... Uh, 277? Well, show me the bloody highway. A stupid thing. Fine, we're going out here. 277, do I win? Please, wait. Win. One on 277 between Weinart and Haskell. One near Rural. Again, trying to bring more hail to Rural. So again, we're really going to be down to about three severe storms. At least hail-wise. Now, wind-wise, the storms from Bowie down to Decatur to Alvord. Yeah, we could have some stronger winds with that. And then the storm in Den County technically is still under a severe warning, but that's going to go away. So really, we're just here to watch, wait and sigh. My caffeine drink's empty. Means I'm going to have to go get another one. Oh, hello phone. How are you this morning? I'm just looking at stuff, honestly. Okay, the lightning got old. This is why we can't have lightning on here, because literally 10 months out of the year, it just fills the screen and makes it difficult to see anything. Having fun, Mr. Meteorologist Jason Cooley. Yeah, that storm west of Mineral Wells we're looking at. Yeah, all these storms, a lot of cloud to ground lightning. There, there's no doubt about that. We got lightning. Lightning is frightening. Heavy rain, some street flooding. All that nonsense, so... Again, as we take a look at the storm west of Mineral Wells, pretty good lightning surge coming in there. Trying to see a new updraft go up southwest of Palo Pinto, east of, southeast of Metcalf Gap. We'll see if that happens. I could push this storm a little closer to Weatherford eventually. Chance for maybe a new hail core to develop. But at this point, things have calmed down comparatively, which is nice. Because clearly I'm now distracted by my cell phone like a millennial. Or my parents. Apparently that generation at this point also is enamored with cell phones, so. Again, we got some scattered showers firing up Dallas County, Collin County, Hunt County, Fannin County, all the feast. And again, at this point, still flash flooding issues from Tyler to Longview to Marshall to Wascom from earlier rainfall. Uh, Mr. Jason Cooley, I'm literally seeing this Highway 114 and, you know... 35W again. I hate that traffic light. I do miss the golf place right there. I need to go golfing again. But I hate that intersection with a vengeance. And again, we have some hail on 277 between Weinard and Haskell. We'll zoom out, take a look at that. Two storms out there. Otherwise, I don't think we have storms... And that's the farthest the west the storms go. We have no storms southeast. We have no, th no storms yet in the Permian Basin. We might lighter. And yeah, it it's storming. It's pouring. I wish I was snoring. But here I am, out of bed, whining like an old bald man.
My XSplit hasn't crashed again in a while. That's nice. I might have fixed that problem. Which means we can get back to our typical solution for tomorrow. So I'll utilize this new method anyway. Oh no. Oh, we going to Bucky's? Uh-oh. Are we about to get to go to Bucky's on the live stream? Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen, we have to look. Come on now. Is it Bucky's? If so, this video is going to go viral. Well, slap me silly and hope it ain't crowded at 1 in the morning because it's Bucky's time, ladies and gentlemen. Yippity, yippity, yippity do. It's. Well, it used to be a rare Texas attraction. Now they're showing up every 10 miles. It kind of ruins the luster of it. But yes, sir, e Bob. You've got that. You've got the golf club. The golf place, the whatever. Oh, yes, sir, e Bob. Anyway, here you go. It's storming, it's pouring, but at this point, the overall severe weather threat seems to be declining, which makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Yeah, we had a live stream of the solar eclipse. You can go look at it. Uh, we had it on our YouTube channels, our, all our social media stuff. Meteorologist Jason Cooley had a great stream of it. Okay, Radar, let's not do that. Yeah, Jason's getting gas at the Bucky's at all. Uh, 114 and 35W. There's nothing going on there right now. Okay, Radar, are you just not going to update that? Fine, we'll switch to this. Thank you to our moderators for staying up so late. A lot of folks staying up late but yeah we're just we're gonna stay here keep an eye on things with y'all it's spring sleep doesn't happen for me very often i'll sleep later All right. Yeah, the copy-paste segments of summer. With our luck, we're going to go straight from severe weather season to hurricane season. It could be a rather unpleasant hurricane season. Knock on wood and hope not. Hello, dogs. How are you? Are you enjoying life? Yeah, what are you doing? Hi. Can I help you? Go lay down. 
We're not doing whining and attention seeking at 12.30 in the morning. It's your night night time. Right. Let's take a look at this. It's a little bit of an interesting signature we're seeing. A little bit of straight lined wind moving into southwest sides of Denton towards Corinth. Maybe some wind gusts up four to five miles an hour. Oh, Denton Storm, are you trying to intensify again? Well, well, well. Little Denton Storm's trying to build back a little bit of a hail core. Nothing that screams big scary hail at this point, but actually starting to build a little bit of a core loft again. I think one of the dogs just farted in here. That doesn't make me happy. Yeah, that storm in Denton's actually starting to intensify again. And I thought it was dead. Whoops. I mean, it may not even be severe. Hi, Aspen. Can I help you? My good. Oh, why you burp in my face? That was rude. Oh my goodness, you want to say hi to the camera? Aspen. Oh, yes. Oh, well, she don't care. Yeah, you happy girl? Yeah, welcome to my life. Using my left hand to pet a dank. Using the right hand. Oh, I'm not feeding the dog anything. Dog gets its own food. Yeah. Did you overeat? Maybe? I don't know. This is a babysitting dank. Okay, severe storm warning continues for Haskell and Weinart until 1245, the potential for two-inch hail. You're okay. If y'all went through that entire bowl of food... Yeah, it's storming. It's pouring. Might have some small hail and den, some gusty winds, some lightning. Mineral wells, heavy rain. The hail core really died off. It actually, truthfully, shifted south of 180 at this point. Uh, so we'll have to see how that evolves. That storm's undergoing a bit of a uh, evolution. I hate everything. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Haskell County in Texas. Oh, come on. Stop.
Yeah, South Denton, uh, it may be calm and happy right now. It's going to change. You're about to get some west winds up to 45 miles an hour, probably. We do note flash flooding still of an issue on some roads. Tyler, Longview, Marshall, Wascom, Shreveport. And we still got storms out here producing quite a bit of cloud to ground lightning, gusty winds, pockets of hail. Heavy rain. Did I mention lightning? Yep. Storm and Den. Doing weird things. Let's see if I can get this to load the terminal Doppler weather radar. One moment, please, while I make myself sound like a fool. Eh, it's not going to do what I wanted it to do. Oh, well... Switch back to the level 2 data. We'll press that magical button. Storm over Den is showing a bit of interesting low-level signature here. I don't think it's rotation, but uh, definitely some wind. We'll keep an eye on it. It might be pretty windy right now in South Den to Corinth, at least in the next few minutes. Blue boxes, uh, when I was zoomed out for East Texas, those are flash flood warnings. The potential for flooding on roads, creeks, streams, etc. They had quite a bit of heavy rainfall earlier this evening. Storm over mineral wells, you better not be throwing an aneurysm over here. What do you think you're doing? Stop it. Stop trying to intensify. I want to go to bed. JK, I've actually got to make a forecast video still at some point this morning, and that's probably still a few hours away. <sighs> Yeah, it's about to start raining here in Little Elms shortly. You'll probably be hearing thunder, seeing the lightning off to your west. Excuse me. Again, just a lot of lightning, heavy rain, pockets of small hail. The exception being this storm southwest of Mineral Wells. There's a hail core there. There's a hail core way northeast of Haskell, east of Wanart. A hail core between Rule and Rochester. All this activity generally moving east or northeast at about 30 to 35 miles an hour. And we'll switch over to the how hard the winds are blowing. And you can see, yeah, we have some pockets of stronger winds showing up. East of Bowie here up in uh, southeast of Montague, east of 59. And then some pockets of westerly winds probably up to 30, 40 miles an hour in Decatur. But again, uh, it's going to be more of a flooding issue. Heavy rain, gusty winds, etc. So really quick, it's time for me to pay a visit to the magical little boy's room. So we're going to mute my mic for about, oh, let's do five minutes. It's 1240. Uh, we'll be back 1245 with continuing coverage. Until then, you get to enjoy the magical, soothing, happy music of Weather Jazz.
A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Collin, Denton, and Grayson County in Texas. Whoever just asked if the next update's 1245 and if you're watching the right thing live, the answer is yes. It is technically 1244, but we're back. We got a new severe thunderstorm warning for portions of eastern Den, western Collin, southwestern Grayson counties. This will link, excuse me, include places like New Hope, Aubrey, Pilot Point, Tioga, Gunter, Salina, Prosper, Little Elm, Oak Point, Lakewood Village, McKinney, Melissa, Dorchester. We'll just read this warning. And yeah, this storm is trying to hold its own. Severe thunderstorm capable of producing 60 mile an hour winds, maybe some quarter size hail. And again, so it's a marginal severe storm, marginal. But nevertheless, one we're going to be keeping an eye on. You can see as I zoom in. Use M Wa. Thunderstorm is moving to the northeast. What do they have it at? At about 30 miles per hour. So we'll put a storm track on it because that's what we do in the land of Dave's. I'm going to do it like that because it makes me happy. They've got it, what, again, about 32? All right, well, we'll do 33 because it makes me happy. Gunter, 107, so let's just say. That was quite rude. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Haskell 
and Throckmorton County in Texas. You guys out west quit having hail? I mean, it's like the 30th severe warning out there today. Yesterday, whatever. It's all one day now. Deal with it. Uh, Gunter, about 105. Salina, about 1 a.m. Prosper, about 1 to 105. New Hope in the next several minutes. Melissa, about 120 to 125. Anna, about 125. And Alstine, about 120. How? About 120. Why? A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Cook, Denton, Montague, and Wise County in Texas. <laughs> it's a Monday. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Baylor and Knox County in Texas. Okay, well, let's talk about what they have done. Severe thunderstorm east sides of Denton, Aubrey to Pilot Point. A thunderstorm moving east-northeast about 30 miles an hour, the potential for localized damaging winds over 60 miles an hour, the potential for nickel to quarter size hail, heavy rain, lightning. Lightning is probably going to try to set some of your houses on fire if we're being literal here. Uh, back further west, the potential for this line of storms to produce damaging straight line winds of 50 to 60 to 65 miles per hour. That does include places like Decatur, up to Slidell, Leo, St. Joe, Munster, Lindsay, Gainesville, Valley View, Sanger, Crum, Ponder, North Lake, Justin, Argyle, Denton. So, Den, you got one severe storm exiting to the east. You got another severe storm coming in from the west. Hey, congrats, you get to double up. I'm sure you're super thrilled about that. And then we've got a third severe storm saying hello to Mineral Wells, finally. Boy, that really did take its sweet time, didn't it? Good grief. That thing slowed way down. Uh, worst hail core looks like it's southwest of town, so those of you in Mineral Wells, you may get some quarter-sized hail at least here in the next 10 minutes or so. As this storm continues to meander its happy self off to the east at a brisk... Probably what? 20 miles an hour, yeah, that thing's not moving that much. And then we've got more storms around Haskell. <laughs> Another supercell with maybe quarter to ping pong ball size hail moving in from rural east into Haskell. And then the storm that produced two inch diameter hail in rural earlier is now east of Weinart. It's looking a little weaker, but still could be capable of producing quarter sized hail, localized winds up to 60 miles an hour in places like Monday, Gorley, east of Weinart, rural areas of the, that area. So again, uh, yeah, we, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's not a Monday, but it feels like a Monday. Now, I'm going to look at the high-res rapid refresh model to see if it's actually got itself better off than it was earlier. And if it does, I can show y'all what's going on. Not sure if that's what's going to happen today or not. A little sigh. All right, I'm going to switch this back over let y'all look. Okay, let's see. Are you going to load just an hour or are you going to try to load like three hours? You're going to load like three hours just to make me mad, aren't you? No, it's actually trying to do its job. Wow. It may not be able to, but at least it tried. We're going to get a new severe weather outlook in about the next 10 minutes. This will be for today, tonight, as in Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night. Actually, it's already out. All right, let me read this. All right, in case you're wondering, the new severe weather outlook for Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night, and Wednesday mornings out. That's not it. Rude, 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 rude. Well, you don't get a look at it yet. Sorry, it's actually not in this graphic system. I'm looking at it on another graphic system, but apparently it just hates me. So we'll just go back to watching the little stormies roam about the plains. Again, most storms are not severe, but we do have some mischievous behavior ongoing with this thunderstorm complex in North Texas and two parts of eh, the northern mid country, two supercells around Haskell. Could have quarter size hail, winds to 60. We've got clusters of storms here in North Texas. Storm over mineral wells could be dropping a bit of hail. Storms from. 
a new severe thunderstorm <sighs> warning has been issued for Haskell County in Texas. A little line of severe storms from St. Joe to Decatur to Boyd to Rome moving east. The potential for wind gusts over 60 miles an hour. Maybe some nickel to quarter size hail. A severe storm over 380 from near, let's just say, the north side of Louisville Lake to Aubrey to Pilot Point. Moving east northeast about 30 miles an hour. That might have nickel to quarter size hail. Localized winds of 50 to 60 miles an hour. Yeah, we're just watching storms. And again, I know there's a lot of cloud to ground lightning. All these are producing annoyingly excessive amounts of lightning. You're in mineral wells and you're getting a down to nickel size hail. You see, that's a good report. Thank you very much. That answers our questions about what's going on there. Boo. All right, folks, still here. That's why I did a setup of this stream a bit different earlier after the first crash. So if it cla cla clashed or crashed, I'd be able to resume the stream without having to redo all this nonsense. Yeah, I must have a memory link, <clears throat> a memory leak in the software. I'll have to look into it, but... That keeps up. I'm going to have to look at different software. Because this isn't the only computer this has happened to me on. So clearly something's leaking somewhere. But it is 12.56 a.m. on this, the 9th of April, 2024. Storms in uh, western Collin County. We're getting some strong winds with these. That storm uh, northeast of Den near New Hope. Krugerville, Aubrey, New Hope. Could have some small hail up to Pilot Point. Line of storms coming in now from St. Joe to De you know, pretty much east of Decatur, down to Boyd, down to Springtown, west of Eisel. Mineral Wells. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Palo Pinto and Parker County in Texas. Again, these storms, mostly at this point, strong winds, maybe some quarter size hail, gust or yeah, gusty winds up to 60 miles an hour in spots, heavy rain, a lot of cloud to ground lightning. Really not concerned about a tornado threat at this point. I mean, is it completely impossible? No, but clearly we haven't had issues with it this evening. We'll keep an eye on these storms, though, as they continue this morning. Actually, starting to see as a... But, yeah, we're not dealing with any tornado issues. We got heavy rain. We got lightning trying to set houses on fire. We got gusty winds, but clearly we are in the downward phase of Monday's severe weather threat and at some point well you can see the Tuesday threats already beginning uh, with thunderstorms beginning to develop in far southeastern New Mexico those will begin developing in the Permian Basin parts of west central Texas west Texas over the next two to three hours and those will get to have the opportunity to drop hailstones because that's so much fun at three in the morning can you tell I'm thrilled I'm about as thrilled as one could be.
Yeah, we're still here. It's a Monday. It's really Tuesday, but I'm going to say Monday every day. If it's not Friday, it's a Monday. Oh. Hey, computer, you want to not do what you just did? Thank you. Again, yeah, we're still here. Why are so many of you still watching this? Good golly, it's one in the morning, folks. Go to bed. Hmm. Oh, Jason's going to be happy. We're 23,999 subscribers on Texas Weather Center. Wow, that's cute. Mr. Meteorologist Jason Cooley, in addition to being keen of the chase streams and stuff like that, along with Adam, Jason is our quote-unquote content director. He's very good at the analytics. He's going to be a ha happy, happy, happy. Ah, <sighs> right, and we just broke over it. Thank you. We just hit 24,000 subscribers on Texas Weather Center. That's our main weather uh, YouTube channel these days. Uh, we're on Texas Storm Chasers as well. That's where we do the storm chasing videos, uh, live severe weather coverage too, but our day-to-day -day weather stuff is over on Texas Weather Center, our second YouTube channel. We just broke 24,000 on that, so thank you to everyone who has managed to do that. We definitely appreciate you. Yeah, Mineral well Storm. It's got gusty winds, heavy rain, lightning, but really, it's just, it's falling apart. So hopefully, if that keeps up, we might be able to get rid of this warning soon. But, I mean, yeah, it's got gusty winds. Yeah, let's see if the day one severe weather outlook's in my system yet. It is. So this is the new severe weather outlook. This is for Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Uh, yeah, kind of like today, except it expanded further south. The severe weather threat for, well, this morning, this afternoon... Tonight and the Wednesday morning includes West Texas, the Permian Basin, the Big Country, the Concho Valley, the Edwards Plateau, the Hill Country, South Texas, South Central Texas, the Coastal Bend, the Victoria Crossroads, Southeast Texas, uh, Central Texas, the Brazos Valley, East Texas, North Texas, the Arklatex. Now, I want to make that... Yeah, it's out, but I do think we're going to see some changes later. Today's threat is not written in stone. It's going to be kind of a difficult forecast because we have storms now. We're going to have more storms in the morning. That's really going to dictate what we deal with this afternoon. You know, if we have a big complex of storms this morning across northern areas of that risk zone that pushes a area of destabilized air further south, then, well, or excuse me, pushes a stabilized area of air farther south, then, well... Honestly, it may just not do too much. But at the same time, conditionally, uh, this afternoon, there's threat for significant severe weather. Threat for hail, base up to the size of baseballs, maybe larger. Damaging straight line winds, and I mean, if I load the tornado risk here for today, you can see, technically, uh, the Storm Prediction Center indicating we could have a low to medium threat of tornadoes across portions of Central Texas, the Brazos Valley, Southeast Texas, the Golden Triangle around Beaumont, all of East Texas, the Piney Woods of East Texas. So again, we, we're probably going to be doing severe weather coverage again later today, tonight into Wednesday morning. And we'll talk more about that in detail in the Texas Weather Roundup a bit later this morning. That should be out by 6 a.m. Honestly, I'm hoping to record it a little earlier than that and get some sleep. But we'll see what Mama Nature wants to do. Mama Nature's going to do what Mama Nature's going to do. Mama Nature's a troll. Clearly. And for what it's worth, honestly, uh, for... Uh, this is Wednesday. Uh, we note the Storm Prediction Center has outlined a level 4 risk of severe weather. 
across portions of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. And we have the chance for scattered severe storms Wednesday morning in East Texas, the Arklatex, Southeast Texas. And again, uh, looks like a pretty nasty severe weather outbreak on Wednesday in parts of Mississippi, Louisiana, Alabama, Florida. That's just an ouchies. So again, that's Wednesday. This is us today. Then here's the view across the state right now. I'll turn off the satellite. I'll turn on the radar so y'all can see that. What's going to happen later today, honestly, I mean, we're probably going to have some severe weather risk in Texas, but I honestly don't know yet. It really depends on how things evolve later this morning. The potential, technically, based on the outlook, a higher tornado threat today than yesterday, but we had one tornado warning yesterday. Oh, Aubrey, why? Are you trying to strengthen again? You better not. I am not in the mood for nonsense, and you're trying to be nonsensical. Well, a little bit of a hail core updraft enhancement now over portions of uh, Aubrey to Pilot Point. I mean, we're not talking big hail here, but maybe some uh, nickel, maybe quarter size hail. Where'd the phone go? Come here, phone. You know, the fancy... The ability to have a fancy air conditioner with a wireless app over here is that, yeah, it's 80 degrees in here, that, and that'll do it. Clean the filter, great. Okay, uh, one point. so again, at this point, we have a severe thunderstorm capable of producing nickel to maybe quarter size hail along Highway 377 from Tioga down to Pilot Point, Aubrey, and Krugerville. We could also have some strong winds up to 60, 65 miles per hour. This is not one of these intense high-end severe storms we dealt with earlier at this point this thunderstorm is borderline severe main threat's going to be heavy rain gusty winds a lot of lightning maybe some small hail maybe up to the size of a quarter in a stone or two maybe some gusty winds over 50 to maybe 60 miles an hour otherwise the only other severe storm outside of the storms near haskell that will just never end is a weakening thunderstorm on the border of Parker and Palo Pinto County. That thunderstorm at this point has lost almost any indication of hail, the potential for some gusty winds, but honestly, that in itself also looking much weaker. Yet another supercell just northeast of Haskell, completely different story. This remains a intense supercell capable of producing golf ball to tennis ball size hail now east of 277, northeast of Haskell, southeast of Wynock, and that storm is moving off to the east, northeast, towards Throckmorton again. We'll see if it weakens. I hope it does. But again, otherwise, the severe thunderstorm warning for Wise Den, all that has been canceled. Thank you to all those subscribing to us, by the way, both on Texas Storm Chasers and on our primary weather channel, Texas Weather Center. Texas Storm Chasers was the original uh, channel for everything we decided back early in 2023 to split off most of the day-to-day -day weather stuff into a second YouTube channel, and that's where Texas Weather Center came about. Yeah, boy, got owned by storms earlier, but again, the storm over Aubrey, moving off to the east-northeast, towards Salina, Gunter, 
Weston, probably staying mostly north of Prosper. The potential for some gusty winds, maybe up to 60 miles an hour, heavy rain. The potential for a bit of hail, maybe dime to nickels, can't totally rule out a quarter size hailstone. And that activity will be moving off to the east, northeast at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. Yeah, I'm tired. I mean, I got about three hours of sleep yesterday morning, so since Sunday morning at this point. But hey, you know what? We we are here for the weather update, so that's what we're going to do. I'll get a bit of a nap later this morning. <laughs> Is the weather okay enough? I mean, it might get wet through the drive through but yeah, it should be fine. It's actually pretty dark in this room now. I'm surprised the camera's picking up my face okay. Oh, let me see if I can move this over a bit, if it'll actually see my face a little better with this microphone. It might. Let's try this. Yeah, y'all could see me a little better now. Uh, if anything, for Tuesday, I honestly would bet for later today... Uh, the risk getting bumped further south, perhaps. I really think that may be what happens, but it all depends what happens this morning. If we have a big complex of storms, another one or two roll through North Texas this morning through lunchtime, that will probably push the main severe weather risk south by afternoon. If not, then yeah, it might move north a bit. Again, otherwise, I don't even have the radar open. It crashed. That's unfortunate. Uh, yeah, we see that indication near Pilot Point. At this thing, I just at this point, I think it's a bit of a de-aliasing error or issue with the radar uh, decoding software. I don't think it's actually low-level rotation. If anything, it's a shear axis. But what time is it? All right, one ten. But again, I'm hoping we're going to be done with severe storm warnings here shortly. And most of North Texas, but we'll see. What I'm doing right now is I'm actually looking from surrounding radars. I'm going to look from the Abilene radar up at the storms in Collin County, mid-upper levels, just to gauge how the updraft strength has been trending over the last 30 minutes. That's an indication of the storm's weakening or not weakening. And it is kind of pulsed up a little over the last 10 minutes, so... Gusty winds, maybe some quarter size hail, but we're not we're not talking about baseballs anymore with this storm. The only storm that may be producing hail like that is this one northeast of Haskell. These storms in North Texas are mostly dime to nickel size hail, if that. Maybe a quarter size hail stone or two. Some gusty winds, maybe 50, 55, maybe 60 miles an hour. And otherwise, the lean edge of this line of storms with gusty winds, heavy rain, Weatherford, Azel. A new severe thunderstorm warning has been issued for Haskell and Throckmorton County in Texas. <laughs> yeah, this thing definitely has a memory leak. I can see my memory count increasing. It's interesting. Anyway,
radar, can we just load? Seems like a good time for you to go to bed, David. Seems like a good time for you to go to bed, David. Yeah, I'm, I'm considering taking a nap till about five and then getting up to do the roundup. All right. Well, here's what yeah, here's what we're going to do, folks. It's coming up to 115. We're den generally seeing a decrease in storm intensity. What we're expecting overnight is we're going to see new storms fire up southeastern New Mexico, Permian Basin, parts of West Texas. Those could have hail by 5 a.m. Storms in North Texas continue to weaken, though we see may see some more storms later on. What we're going to do now is I think this is a good time to wrap it up since things are calming down. If something happens, we'll come back. I'll have something going to wake me up from my nap if we get any sort of obnoxious warnings. But, that being said, considering we could have another busy day ahead of us, I think it's a good time to go take a nap for me. And again, we'll have a Texas weather roundup out with the latest forecast later this morning by 7 a.m., hopefully a bit sooner than that. And again, we'll just see how the day goes. Uh, more severe storms possible again later today. Again, this is the severe weather outlook for Tuesday morning, Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday evening across portions of the state. And yeah, we could have more severe weather. So we'll keep an eye on it here at the Texas Storm Chasers, as we always do. <laughs> I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer, along with Storm Chasers at Lucio, Chelsea Burnett, Jenny Brown, and Jason Cooley saying thank you for tuning in. Good night, good morning, God bless, we'll see you later today.